in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed Nina Kawo Yabo Serkin Salama Nina Kawo Yabo Serkin Salama Kaine Serkin Salama Serkin Salama Salama
For the more we know you, the more we want to know you, Jesus. For the more we know you, the more we want to know you. I live to praise your name, and I have no fear of what tomorrow brings. and worship him worship him from the depth of your heart Lord we love you we love you we love you and we honor you thank you for your authority in this place thank you for the grace for obedience you're turning our lives around making us signs and wonders Oh, we give you all the praise. We give you all the praise. May the nations come and see what you can make out of obedient people.
find true worship in this place. We love you. We truly, truly love you. We're not using you to build enviable destinies. We're not using you to find relevance. We're not using you to manage our fears and insecurities. You are bigger than that. You are bigger than that. For you are bigger than what we say. Say, you are bigger than what we say. You are the reason why we are successful. You're not part of our lives. You own everything. We're not giving you the most important part of our lives. We're giving you everything. 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 Hallelujah. Lord, we love you. We bless you. We love you and we bless you. This is part of our worship. We love you. We're not just thinking it, we're saying it. We love you. Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings, you have perfected praise. Lord, we are too grateful to allow stones take our place. We are too grateful to allow the trees worship you. We are too grateful. You have done well and we honor you. You have done well and we bless you. You have done well beyond our prayers, beyond our fasting, beyond our levels of obedience. Beyond our levels of understanding, you have glorified your name. And we thank you, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you, we bless you. We thank you. Hallelujah. It is a good thing to give thanks to the Lord. Thanksgiving is a sign of humility, just like prayers. It's an acknowledgement of his sovereignty above and beyond our limitations let me tell you something brothers and sisters god is not an addition to our lives he's the reason don't 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 look at god as you see the reason why our worship is not perfected is because we think we have done so much then god added to it so we worship him as colleagues i don't worship him as a colleague he's the king he is my king. Take God out of the equation of my life. I am absolutely useless. There's nothing embarrassing about this. 
if you are ashamed to acknowledge the might of God the psalmist said if the Lord had not been on our side he said now may Israel say if the Lord had not been by my side please in one minute I'd like you to open your mouth and count your blessings don't pretend he has not been faithful take your eyes away from that which you think he has not done and acknowledge him how can I be so ungrateful you have done well you have changed my life you have given me what money cannot give you have given me your presence look what you've done in this ministry we acknowledge you we are so blessed our souls are found rest oh lord Sing it with me. Thanks, we give you thanks. When others are complaining, seeing the things they think you have not done, we are grateful. How dare we complain after all you have done? For we are so blessed, and our souls are found. One more time, just the voices. Worship him. Thanks. Reflect on the many things he's done in and through your life. For all you have done. We are so blessed and our souls Jesus Christ we thank you you are our confidence in this place tonight it is because of your presence that we know lives will be changed tonight we have come to hear you speak hallelujah Lord Jesus accept our coming here tonight as a reflection of our inadequacy in ourselves accept our coming tonight as a recognition of our limitations accept our coming tonight as a communication of our dependence on you for we will not be here if we did not trust you lord we trust you hallelujah please be seated god bless you hallelujah praise the lord this for someone is the message god came to give you tonight this act of worship please listen to me brothers and sisters the key to more of anything in your life is gratitude the key to more of anything in your life anything good is gratitude he took five loaves and two fish. He lifted it up. And the Bible says he gave thanks. You know, sometimes we live in a world where there is such an appetite for more. More money, more fame, more this, more that. And now God wants to increase us. Motion is a sign of life stagnation is a sign of death so god wants us to move forward but you see god's system is such that you never leave where you are to the next level until you thank him sufficiently for where you are hallelujah guilt not guilt in a negative way will never allow me to dare complain before god there are too many stories in my life that show the faithfulness of God. I will be wicked and heartless to ever claim he's not faithful. So for me, 
if I do not have a language of gratitude, I rather not speak. I rather sing and worship him. There are too many reasons in my life. I am a testimony of how God can take a man from nothing to something. How would I be so stupid to complain? Shout around. He's giving me what money cannot buy. His presence. Listen. If you have a property, they call you a rich man. But someone can bully you and collect it. The government can seize it from you. Are we together? If you have investments all over the world, they call you a business mogul. But everything can crash and fail in one day. Are we together? If you have a political position, it is not infinite. It is not everlasting. Are we together? Even if you are a monarch, the reality of death and time can catch up with you. But when he gives you his presence, there is no way to find it and collect it from you. It's not a commodity that belongs to this earth realm. It's a reality that is beyond this realm. It will buy anything. The presence of God is the master capital. It's bigger than land. Bigger than degrees. Bigger than anything. Please believe me. The most expensive commodity is the presence of God. When you have it, you have access to kings and their treasures. When you have it, you have access to businessmen and their wisdom. When you have it, you have access to royalties and their sacrifices. They will bring to you the rewards of their years of labor and beg you to collect it in exchange for the presence of God. Never Never you think the presence of God is just a way of feeling spiritual. Then you quickly feel spiritual. Then you concentrate on what you think will make you successful. No, only a fool does that. The presence of God gave the nation of Israel gold and silver in one day. What they could not get in 430 years. The presence of God became for them a pillar of cloud by day. And of fire by night. Hallelujah. You know, sometimes when you hear a man of God talk so much about the presence of God, please look up. It's easy to think the man of God is speaking because his life is now comfortable. You know, that's what people think in church. When a preacher is talking like this, you know, they feel, ah, you are doing well, you are enjoying. Why will you not talk about the presence of God? But you need to ask how the person started and what brought the person to the current level. Are we together? What you are seeing now is not a seed, it's a harvest. Are we together? Yes. Never covet any man's glory. Pay attention to the story. The story reveals the process. The story reveals the sacrifice. We live in a generation where we are obsessed with results. And that is important. But we focus so much on the end of the results. We want finished products. But we do not pay attention to how the things are made. Hallelujah. What you are learning will give you anything you admire now. So forget about the admiration and focus on the training. The training will inevitably bring you to the place of glory. Father, help us tonight in the name of Jesus. Bless you. Good evening, everybody. Just turn to your left and right and tell your neighbor good evening. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. All right, pick up your pen, paper. Let's get to work. There's a lot to do. The Glory Revealed Part 2. Last week, we started a series, The Glory Revealed. It's a series that is supposed to guide us, excuse me, and teach us the principles, how a man's life can become a reflection 
of all the possibilities that consist in God. Hallelujah. Please try to get last week's teaching. It's free. You can get it after the service, especially for those who are online following us. There are so many people and we love you. You are part of us. The Lord honor you in Jesus' name. And I spoke to us last week and I started laying a foundation that the pursuit of godliness, please listen, the pursuit of godliness, the pursuit of relevance in the kingdom begins with an encounter. Say an encounter. The journey of a believer does not start with learning principles and laws and formulas. Business people teach you that if you want to arrive, get formula A, add it to B, and that's important. But any time you begin to study anything outside of an encounter first, it will waste your time and lead you to error. Because the kingdom is regulated by a person, not just systems. It is a person who created the systems. So you have to encounter the person Christ. Are we together? So your journey does not begin by learning about tithes and offerings, all the laws that we shared in the series before this. They are very important. But you must start with an encounter. When you meet the person, then he will guide you. Because the Bible says there is a way that seemeth right. There is a method. There is a formula. It seems right to a man. But the Bible says the end thereof are the ways of death. And um, we discussed the concept of glory. I'm just doing a quick recap. How that glory refers to the essence of a thing. The character. Are we together? The, 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 the word glory is from the Hebrew word kabod. The Greek word is doxa. It's a reflection of the true nature. When the true nature of a thing is expressed, we call it the glory of that thing. Are we together now? And then another interesting understanding of the word glory is the possibilities. That, that's the one I want us to pay attention to. Is the one that is relevant in this series. The glory of a man means all the possibilities that are inherent within the man. The glory of this mic is revealed in its ability to amplify sound. Are we together? When you go to buy this mic now and they tell you this singular mic I'm holding is say 200,000. You look at this. Until you connect it to something, then you will see the potentials. Are we together? This is 200,000 for instance because it has an ability to amplify my sound. So I can stand here and speak and people down the second overflow and everywhere can hear. So the glory of this mic is the possibility inherent in it. Are we together now? So when we talk of the glory of God, it refers to all the possibilities that are encapsulated in the person God and that is reflected in the person Christ because Christ is the full expression of the image of God are we together so Jesus came to open us up reveal to us the glory of the father an example of the manifestation of that glory was seen in the healings when he came to people they never knew he had the supernatural ability to heal and so he would tell someone, pick up your mat, stand up and go. Glory revealed. I did tell us last week that until glory is revealed, it cannot be appreciated. Glory that is concealed cannot be appreciated. If you buy a phone, the pack is only a packaging, but the real product is inside. If you keep the pack, even if it's for 10 years, it will not profit you. But when you open it, then you see the content and you appreciate everything that is there. There are phones, for instance, that can just make calls, text messages and a few things. There are other phones that can browse at, at a level of speed. You can connect to several things, watch videos and the rest. Those possibilities are the glory in the phone, which is an expression of the wisdom of the company that made it. So the phone reflects the excellency of Samsung or any other LG or whatever product. Are we together now? So Christ came as a manifestation of the glory of God. The invisible God, Yahweh, found earthly expression. And everything Jesus did was a sample 
of what God can do. He didn't show us everything. He only showed us small and said, you continue. And he sent the spirit of glory away together to continue. So the Bible was not supposed to just end with Jesus. We are epistles. We are an unfolding of other dimensions of glory that are possible. If Jesus were still on the earth, would have written more than would have written. Probably there would have been an episode where he walked on a zinc and came down. Probably there would have been an episode where he made a dry ground to be full of water. But the Holy Spirit came and through Jesus showed us an example that we should follow in his steps. So the goal of this series is to teach us the mystery behind spiritual alignment that can make a man become a reflector of the glory of God. That all there is, all that there is to you is not just your human nature. There is more. Say amen. amen. So the glory of a thing reflects the possibilities. And um, we began to explain how that one of the keys to experiencing the glory of God is to believe that there is such a possibility. You see, brothers and sisters, God is not a man that he should lie. Are we together? Not the son of man that he should repent. If a Jimmy has 50,000 hidden in his suit pocket, is hidden and we cannot see it. If he tells me and says, I have 50,000, my attitude towards him will show whether I believe it or not. Are we together? If I tell you right now on this table, there is a phone, there is this, assuming you cannot see it. Anything you cannot see, you will have to use my person to validate your trust because you cannot see it. Are we together? So faith is that response that is entirely based on your perception of who God is. Because until there is a manifestation you do not yet know, once you have seen it once and again, it's no longer faith. It's called trust. Trust is based on a track record of a man's experience. Faith is based on your knowledge of his person. If I tell you after service there will be free bus transport to take you, assuming you are a new person who just came here, it's up to you to look at me and gauge, could this person be lying? And then if you wish, you can ask somebody who has had an experience with me. The last time he spoke like this, was there a boss? And the person tells you yes. So you believe. Not because you have seen a boss. You believe because you think I am too big to lie to you. That's what faith is predicated upon. So when God says, I want to reveal my glory, it's up to you to first believe. Could God be joking? Is he playing games with me? Does he have the ability to back up his claims? And this is why we have the Bible. The Bible is a compendium of God's speakings versus their manifestations in the life of people. Abraham, I will make you. At the end of it, he made Abraham. He told Gideon, you're a mighty man of valor. At the end of it, Gideon became a mighty man. He told the apostles, you will receive power at the end of it. The Bible says, then he swore by himself. That by these two immutable things, it will be impossible for God to lie. To the end that you may find a consolation. That every time you see God speak, you take him seriously. Say, I believe in God. Say it again, I believe in God. Hallelujah. Today I want you to open up your spirit because I believe with all my heart that what I'm about to share with you will truly bless you. In the part two of this series, we are going to be considering the anointing. The glory revealed part two. We are looking at the anointing. That agency that can help men to reveal the possibilities in God. I said to you how that the glory of a man, listen please, is an unveiling of the possibilities that are in that man. But there is a spiritual agency that empowers men. To reveal this possibility. The name given to it. Is the anointing. Acts chapter 1 verse 8. Mm. Please be very sensitive. A lot will happen tonight. A lot will happen tonight. 
this series is meant to truly bring an anointing to your life that you can hold on to it you can run with it and you can take every mountain that stands before you say amen acts chapter 1 verse 8 let's read together one to read but ye shall receive what hold on you shall receive the word power there is the word dunamis it's not the word exousia there are many words that are translated power and authority interchangeably two of them that are very important is exousia and dunamis exousia is erroneously translated power in many places in scripture but exousia is not power exousia is an authorization the capacity to stand in the office of someone and represent him is called exousia but this is not exousia this talks of force the agency that compels compliance is called power dunamis so it says you shall receive power after read on that the holy ghost is what come upon you what will that power make you do read on it says and ye shall be unto me where in jerusalem uh-huh judea samaria and to the uttermost part of the earth so his idea is that you become witnesses who is a witness a witness is one who validates that the claim of another is true are we together if we are in the court for instance please pay attention i'm establishing a lot if we're in the court of law right and someone stole my phone and while he was stealing it promised saw the person are we together and now we're in the court of law and i say no this guy sam stole my phone the judge will ask do you have any witness and then we will bring promise let's assume promise was snapping and in the process of snapping he snapped the man picking it that is the evidence a witness is only a witness because he has an evidence without an evidence you cannot be a witness please listen without an evidence you cannot be a witness i can be i mean a Jimmy can be my brother but in this case he cannot be a witness he can support me in prayer but when we stand in court he does not have evidence everybody say evidence i'm building a case here so promise comes before the judge and then he says are you a witness to this he says yes produce your evidence then he produces a photo and that photo shows the person stealing and based on that evidence the judge so the evidence is the power that has forced the phone to return back to me the anointing is the proof that you are a witness the anointing is the evidence when you stand in this court of life and life places a demand on you to prove that God is with you when your family background brings before you a mountain to prove whether God is with you when the limitation in Nigeria stands before you and says you are a Christian prove that God is with you he says you must receive power the authorization you cannot be a witness so you are going around telling people Jesus saves and they are saying what do you mean Jesus saves Buddha also saves so what is your evidence and then the person levitates in the air this is my evidence Buddha empowered me and they say what is your evidence and then you say baba baba ba, ba. and they say nonsense that's not evidence are we together when someone comes up on the scene and says I am a free mason I worship the flying dragon of Asia the spirit called Mammon and this is the evidence I have built empires by her wisdom what is your evidence and then you say I'm a Christian I'm just going to heaven what is your evidence please pay attention to tonight's service because life will ask you that question I will never follow a God who cannot prove himself. 
I'm not one of those religious people. I took time to ask God questions before I started ministry because the world will ask me questions. You will stand before businessmen who are idol worshippers. The spirit will give them ideas and they will move forward. And you come ranting and speaking like a fool. You will stand before arrows that fly by day and noisome pestilences. What is your evidence? When there is a plague moving and it does not affect you, it's an evidence that there is another life in you. Please hear me. This is what I'm trying to teach you in this series. There must be an evidence. Let me tell you why we are talking too much in church. A believer was never designed to be a noise maker. We were designed to be proof producers. Our noise is a, is a cover up for insufficient evidence. Do you know you can be in a court and speak and the lawyer will say this evidence is not strong enough. There are few things the church is doing that unbelievers are not doing. Very few. Very few. I have studied a lot on world religions. I study a lot on religions and so many things. Christianity is not the fastest growing religion. I hope you are aware. I will tell you why. Because our strategy is wrong. They have proposed strategies that are not very effective. The religions that represent the fastest growing religions, you never see crusades. Are we together? You never see tracts. You never see people with talking, moving with Bibles all around. But there is a harvest per second, per second. God's ability. God's ability is working in me. He's working in me. God's ability. God's ability. He's working in me. It's God's ability. God's ability. Your hands on your head in one minute and pray and say lord there must be an evidence an evidence i'm tired of bringing mockery to your name and misrepresenting you go ahead and pray he shall receive power power not stories power not stories power Hallelujah, please sit down fire is burning in this place I tell you Acts chapter 10 verse 38 please help us media I came to challenge you the way we are doing church and Christianity we are about to disappoint God we need evidences not evidences just from preachers are we together I will never follow a God who cannot prove himself. I'm not one of those people they like, they say, just believe, don't worry in his time. No way. No way. No way. Before Gideon accepted the assignment, he asked questions. Before Mary accepted, she, she said, how shall these things be? Because according to my knowledge, a man and a woman will produce pregnancy. But he said the power of the highest. In other words, there is another root in the spirit. You have known that it's only a man and a woman. You have known that you only wait for five years to get a job. But there is another root. The power of the highest shall overshadow you. See, I bring you another way. 
there is not only one way of doing things. The world has created their way, but God has his way. How God anointed Jesus. Let me tell you what that means. Look at the extent to which he anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. Who was anointed this way? Jesus. He was not anointed three days to the cross. He would have had 33 years of wasted experience and three days of impact. He was anointed before. How many of us have been taught to start moving without empowerment? He says, as a result of that, who went about doing what? Doing good. An example of the good he did was to heal all that were oppressed of the devil. That was not the only good he did. He multiplied bread, doing good by the anointing. He forced money inside the mouth of a fish, doing good by the anointing. He multiplied bread and fish by the anointing. He calmed the storm by the anointing. He vindicated a woman who was on her way to death by the anointing. He raised the dead by the anointing. And the Bible says he went about doing good and healing all that they, all they that were oppressed of the devil for God was with him. Divine presence bringing the anointing in the life of Jesus and Jesus moved around doing good. You are going around trying to do good. Willing to do good. Meaning to do good. But good is not coming because good is not just a desire. There is an empowerment. Men are empowered to do good. I want to help the poor. There is an anointing that helps you to do good. Write this down. What is the anointing? Please participate and listen patiently and carefully. Those outside in any of the overflows, just pay attention. You may be standing, but listen. Number one. The anointing is God's seal of authorization upon you to represent him. The anointing is God's seal of authorization upon a man, upon any man, not a preacher. God's seal of authorization upon you to represent him. Every military man has a uniform. The uniform is a seal of authorization. When the military man is in mufti, he has no right to do certain things. But when he wears his uniform, his uniform and his badge is his seal of authorization. Are we together? Mm. Paul said, Paul, I, Paul, a man approved of God with miracles, signs, and diverse manifestations. Approved of God. That is the evidence of my apostleship. Hallelujah. So number one, God's seal of authorization upon a man to represent him. Number two, the anointing is God's capacity to produce change and compel compliance. Write it down. Underline compel. Because we live in a stubborn world that will not change by desire. It takes power to change things. It takes power to change genotype from SS to AA. It takes power to change a cancerous cell to a healthy cell. It takes power to raise the dead. It takes power to prosper. Hallelujah. Are we together? takes power to prosper we all want to prosper but we neglect the place of power many people bow to gods bow to spirits receive power from them they sacrifice children turn them upside down and drain their blood and the man takes his pen upon that blood and goes to sign a proposal and whenever you see it you must approve it that's power and yet many believers just move around and they ask you why should you get this proposal you say i'm sincere 
welcome to the world where only mantles speak your long story and english will not do you much when moses went to pharaoh he said pharaoh this is what the lord said pharaoh said nonsense he said my rod continue the conversation i don't have time for this rubbish janus and jembers brought their own rod when he swallowed it moses said take note of this i'm coming back and he left after nine plagues pharaoh was still hardened then the bible says yet one more plague will i bring upon pharaoh and the nation of israel he says afterwards he shall let you go and he didn't let them go the bible says they were driven to go out they didn't wait for their dough to rise to make chinchi they were in a hurry they made it anyhow because a man was tired may you anoint in weary darkness to let you go I'm not motivating you. There is an unction a man can carry. No matter how mad a man is, he will not enter fire by mistake. Give him two minutes. That madness will rearrange itself until it comes out. Because fire was not designed to fear. The Bible says he maketh his angels winds, no more spirits, and his ministers flames of fire. There is power. In the name of Jesus, there is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please look up. Someone came to me and said, every night, there's a spirit that comes to him and oppresses him. Just when things are about to happen, a stranger steps into his room. And I said, it's because that stranger has not seen power. The Bible says, no man can enter a man's house and spoil him. What will you first do? Discuss? Suggest? Bind the strong man, he says. And then you spoil his goods. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Everything that was stolen shall be returned. I prophesy to you. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen shall be returned unto Sing it one more time. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Have you seen someone steal a laptop because he saw a room empty and you steal the laptop and run away with it? Are we together? Run away with the laptop because you are more powerful than the person. Then what does the owner do? He goes to the police station and carries a policeman. Are we together? They hold guns and they enter a van. Then they come and meet the owner after two weeks. And say we are going to kill you power above his power what does he do he shows you the laptop is still lying down there quietly and he carries it the bible says, when you catch a thief if he gives you back what he has stolen he has still cheated you he will restore tenfold that profit must be added in the realm of the spirit when you catch a thief he doesn't pay back what he has stolen because time would have gone are we together if the breakthrough had come in 2005 by now you would have helped many people so now that it did not come you're not just going to receive it like that if you receive it you did it was not restoration it was just progress continued mm. the capacity to produce change and compel compliance if Buhari announces right now and says tomorrow is public holiday, assuming tomorrow were a working day, immediately he speaks. All the armed forces and the military people and paramilitary, he is using authority, not power. What he's using is exousia. 
his office as a president to speak but dunamis are the soldiers so they move on the street with cane guns tear gas and uh, black maria what are they doing compelling compliance if they find you roaming around still trying to sell drugs in your pharmacy they ask you did you not hear what the president said and then you, they hop you into the black maria and penalize you god makes the statement the earth is the lord's he's waiting for you to create that compliance are we together now Number three, we're still defining the anointing. What is the anointing? The anointing, write it down, is the empowerment to manifest the possibilities in God. The empowerment, the capacity to manifest the possibilities in God. The anointing is the empowerment to manifest the possibilities in God. It's not enough to chorus and say God is love. It's not enough to chorus and say God is mighty. Are we together now? Your life must produce the evidence. Number four, the last definition. What is the anointing? The anointing is the agency to reveal the love and the sovereignty of Jesus Christ. The agency to reveal the love and the sovereignty of Jesus. There are two things God is obsessed that they be revealed on the earth. Number one is his love. Number two is his sovereignty. His might as the sovereign ruler. That's where the word Lord comes from. There is a desire in God to see his love find expression in the earth. There is a desire in God to see his sovereignty find expression. Hallelujah. There are two dimensions to the anointing. Please just write this quickly. That's not really where we are dwelling. We preach many messages on the anointing. But just for us to know. There are two dimensions of the anointing. Broadly speaking. Number one. There is the personal anointing. That empowers a man to grow and be like Jesus. There is a personal anointing that empowers a man to grow spiritually and be like Jesus. People like Kenneth E. Hagin call it the anointing within. The personal anointing that is for your spiritual growth. To, to help you grow to the fullness of the stature of the measure of Christ. It is the anointing that teaches you all things. It is the unction from the Holy One that empowers you. Right? The grace of God has appeared unto all men, teaching us to say no. There is the personal anointing to grow and represent Christ. 1 John 2.20, media please. 1 John 2.20 That's the first dimension of the anointing. Every believer in Christ is entitled to that dimension of the anointing. Even that dimension itself can grow. Everyone is entitled. Read after me please. One to read. It says, but ye have an unction from the Holy One. And as a result, you know all things. You have an unction. Whether you are a preacher, whatever, you, if you are in Christ, you are entitled to this dimension of the anointing. Hallelujah. The second dimension of the anointing. And trust me, I know what I'm saying. The second dimension of the anointing is the anointing that is given to you on account of a spiritual office or an assignment. The second dimension of the anointing is the anointing given to you on account of a spiritual office or an assignment. That is the anointing of your call. The anointing of your destiny. The anointing of your destiny is not the same as the anointing of your personal spiritual growth. It's the anointing that backs you up to make sure you fulfill purpose. The anointing that is given to you on account of a spiritual office or an assignment. 
Write this down. It is the anointing that reveals your destiny. It is the anointing that empowers you to fulfill your assignment on earth. That one comes with discovering your call. That one comes with discovering your place in life and destiny. It doesn't come just because you are born again. Are we together? If God calls you into ministry, there is an anointing that follows you. If God calls you into business, there is an anointing that follows you. The moment you assume that position of being an ambassador, you are ready to take one of the seven mountains that control humans. One of the seven mountains, the mountains of religion, the mountains of government, the mountains of, of, of arts and entertainment, the mountain of media, the mountain of education, the mountain of family, and the mountain of finance. Any one of those mountains God sends you, there is an anointing. Are we together? Because there are rulers of darkness. The Bible tells us, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, he says, but against what? Principalities, against powers against rulers of the darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in heavenly places these are rankings and all these spirits are strategically stationed on this mountain listen to my message give me this mountain there i teach on the spiritual dimension of success success is not just by degrees success is not just by intelligence success is not just by being scientific there is a spirituality because there are giants on every mountain but Caleb said, give me this mountain. Hallelujah. So there is an anointing that comes with your call. There is an anointing that comes with your assignment. When God empowers you, he puts an anointing upon your life, an anointing upon the ministry he has committed to you. Are we together? There is an anointing upon Benny Hinn that produces that result. Now, let me tell you something about this second dimension of the anointing. Listen. This second dimension of the anointing is not operational anytime. I want you to understand this. Are we together? There is a timing and there are seasons of its operation. This anointing for your assignment is not operational anytime. There are three laws that govern its operation. One. A demand from those who desire to be recipients of it it responds to faith it responds to desire are we together the Bible says in Acts chapter 4 how that when he was passing the gates beautiful the man was begging for arms and Peter told him look on us and he looked at them expecting to receive and he says silver and gold that expectation provokes the anointing blind Bartimaeus cried thou son of David he provoked the anointing that is the anointing people like Kenneth E. Hagen would call the anointing upon it doesn't come all the time anybody that tells you it comes all the time is a liar and doesn't understand anything about the anointing if it's operational in you all the time it will kill you you do not have the physical capacity your body does not have that stamina have you finished preaching and you went back and felt tired it lifted that's what Jesus meant by virtue has gone out of me. When virtue leaves you, prophets in ancient times, when the anointing landed upon them for their experience, when it lifted, some of them were sick for days. They had to eat herbs to recover from the stream. Are we together? This anointing is activated at the point of delivery at the point where you have to do that which you were born to do so you can be sleeping in your house the moment there is a demand and it is with respect to your assignment the anointing is like a lion within you are we together that's the reason why you can see a man of God you may not even be able to touch him when he's on stage after the meeting you are hugging him slapping him because something has lifted but if by any mistake you're hugging you apply faith to it it will return that's what makes people just they are laughing and the next thing the power of god because their hunger did not die with the service are we together 
so many people were touching Jesus and a woman came he said if I may but touch the hem of his garment Jesus was not even aware but it was automatic the moment there was a demand that anointing that messianic anointing that will fulfill Isaiah 61 to bind up the brokenhearted the anointing that is given on account of your assignment two scriptures to help us Isaiah 61 please will not read it um, will not project it just write it Isaiah 61 from verse 1 to 4 the spirit of the Lord is upon me upon me because he gave me an assignment that requires an authorization so because of that the spirit of the Lord is upon me and with that spirit came an anointing to preach glad tidings to bind up the brokenhearted right to set the captives free, to open up the doors of prison, to declare the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all day that mourn in Zion, to give them beauty for ashes, a garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they may be called oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified. The anointing came for that reason. Jesus reiterated it again in Luke chapter 4, when you read from verse 14 to 18. The Bible says they brought to him right that which was written by Isaiah the prophet and then he opened it and he began to read the spirit of the lord is upon me and at the end of it he said this day is this scripture fulfilled i have come as a fulfillment of this then he began to do it in one of the synoptic gospels there and then he told a man with a withered hand stretch forth your hand as a proof that i have come What is the purpose of the anointing? I've said it to us, but we must. The purpose is, is encapsulated in the definition. But the purpose of the anointing. Isaiah 10, 27. Isaiah 10, 27. Shabba kapara kusuba talabaya. Isaiah 10, 27. I'd like us to read it together. It's projected. One to read shall come to pass in that day that his burden shall be taken away from off thy shoulder and his yoke from off thy neck and the yoke shall be destroyed why listen please look up there are yokes there are burdens there are afflictions upon the lives and the destinies of men upon the families of men robbing men of their dignity mocking God's statement that he made man like him and it takes the anointing to correct that error are we together the anointing comes to lift burdens the anointing comes to break yokes the anointing comes to open up prison doors to them that are bound. Number two, Psalm 66 verse 3. Psalm 66 verse 3. Let's read it please. Just write it and look up and let's read. One, two, read. Say unto God, uh huh. Read on through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves to thee. Not through the greatness of grammar, not through English and negotiation. On the strength of the excellency of your power, listen, let me tell you something you are liable for oppression the moment you find yourself here unfortunately it is not given to you to choose to arrive here are we together the moment you are born there are children who from birth they are already born with all kinds of sicknesses are we together they never chose it is the reality listen let me tell you the moment you cross the second heavens the domain of evil can find expression the heaven of heavens belong to the Lord, the Bible says. But from the second heavens, demonic activities are authorized to find expression. Down till under the earth. That's what happens to children. The moment, it's not a man and a woman that produces children. 
they just create the body for the child to come but the moment that child arrives right from the interface of the second heavens war begins over the destiny of the child it's left for the father and the mother to be spiritual enough to secure the destiny of the child or careless enough to allow anything happen are we together yeah that is why you hear that children are initiated from the womb how can you initiate a child whose faculty of reasoning is not there are we together is it not in your bible that john was filled with the holy ghost from the womb how did he pray in tongues how did he manifest that hallelujah I want to show you four keys to accessing the anointing this this is the place where I want us to be sensitive now because you are not only going to hear you are going to receive Amen. hallelujah please believe me you are not going to hear alone you are going to receive Amen. I enter the holy of holy I enter through the blood of the Lamb. I enter to worship you only. I enter to honor I am. I enter the Holy of Holies. I enter through the blood of the Lamb. I enter to worship you only. I enter to honor I am. Holy Spirit, we wait on you. Holy Spirit, I wait on you. Holy Spirit. I wait on you for fire. Kaba kaba ya for fire. For fire. Lord, we wait on you. You can make tonight your night of encounter listen there was a time in my life the anointing was not upon me I was not born with it are we together a time can come and tonight can be that time if you believe but if you are careless Elijah said if you can see me was he blind it's a spiritual language there is a measure of sensitivity it takes to truly grab the anointing it's not about falling down look at me it's not about falling down it's about your spirit station you are not just hearing you are seeing what the Lord is saying let me tell you something the difference between you and the next level of your life is the anointing there is nothing that will cover for the absence of the anointing. I know it. You reign, you ancient Zion king. Kadosh, Kadosh, you were mighty on your throne. Just follow me, follow me. You reign, you 
ancient Zion's king. Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. Break forth, thou fountains of the deep, and weep, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. Shabakataya Your mighty in this place Shalom Shalom My father Shalom Shalom You're welcome in this place Shalom Jehovah, Baba Shakatabayada, Shalom. You're welcome in this place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're welcome in this place. sensitive what are the keys that have turned ordinary men to wonders workers of miracles what can a man do what is the secret that can open up this fountain in the spirit for no man is born with this thing hear me there is a key there are keys no man is born with unction Jesus himself what can make a man of God so powerful that your words can create an effect in the life of men you are speaking from one end and someone outside is shaking like a leaf what is the key please hear me this is an office I'm not speaking to you as a man I can speak to you as a man who has researched this truth but I speak to you as a custodian of the mystery of this thing. I may not show you, I may not boast that I know business principles. I may not boast that I know on leadership. But I can teach you the mysteries of the presence of God. For it is an office. It was given to me by Jesus Christ. The angels bow before him. The beautiful, beautiful. The heavens are not the door. The angels bow before him. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. Just follow me tonight. Heaven and earth the door. Angels bow before you. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. The heavens and earth are going.
Shabaka paradozo badi balakataba. Understand what I'm teaching you tonight, and you will walk in a new dimension. Believe me. Understand what I'm teaching you tonight, and your ministry will change like day and night. Understand what I'm teaching you tonight, and you will become like a God upon the earth. Understand what I'm teaching you tonight, and your ranking will change instantly in the spirit. Understand what I'm teaching you tonight, and your life will become a wonder. It's not by quoting scripture. It's a realm you can stand in. Number one. The first key to accessing the anointing is salvation. Don't trivialize it. Write it and take it as serious as anything. There are many people in church who are not born again, but they want power. There are many pastors on the altar who are not born again, but they want power. You can fast as an unbeliever. You will never find power. You can be the PA of a man of God and not be born again. Please hear me. That they ordained you does not mean you are born again. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Ah, I tell you, I sense fire in this place. That you were ordained. They poured oil on you. Does not mean that you are born again. Let me tell you. We can do what we know to do on earth. But it depends on whether God approves of it or not. That's what I'm hearing in the spirit. John chapter 1 verse 12 we have to hurry up because God will soon sit in this place the weight of his glory but as many as received him meaning not everybody will receive him as many as received him to them gave he what? power the power is for those who receive him not those who are near him not those who go to where he is proximity to god is not salvation let me tell you the truth there are so many people who need to examine they are born again i am telling you this there are many people who are not born again are we together and i don't mean just by religious activities no an encounter with jesus christ no there are people who are not born again you will say this and many people will argue with you but the way the early church were born again when they were born again fire fell on them salvation the power to become is for those who receive for those who receive him they are the type God will back God does not back everybody just because Jesus died for everybody does not mean you just speak and things happen. You know, it's, and, and please, if you're a pastor here, hear me. Aside from the impartation you receive tonight, open your eyes. Don't think it's just by wearing suit and holding a mic. Oh, the power of God is here. All these things we keep doing, we fool ourselves. Nothing will cover for the absence of an encounter. Not suit, not English, not Greek and Hebrew. There must be a track record in the secret place. He said that which i tell you in the secret declare thou on the mountain top you don't just come and stand and because they gave you a mic you expect things to happen no sir human beings are not robots are we together human beings are not idiots do you know the power it takes to lift a man off his seat i don't mean physically alone 
salvation number two the second key give us first corinthians 2 verse 9 the second key pay attention to a rich heavy deposit of the anointing upon your life that is undeniable is addiction and passion for god and his kingdom addiction passion i'll give you more than a song for a song in itself is that what you have required you search much deeper within to the way things are you're looking into my heart I'm coming back to the heart of worship when it's all about you it's all about you Jesus there is no power for part-time Christianity there is no power for part-time addiction there is no power for part-time ministry so many pastors are part-time ministers by part-time I don't mean that you are doing another thing part-time with God and part-time with ambition looking for relevance joining all kinds of stupid associations to quickly rise the ladder of ministry no it is God that lifts men please hear me your addiction for God must supersede your addiction for money must supersede your addiction for church your addiction for Versace and Boss and Gucci your addiction for cars and houses if you want God's power except if you want to go and see a herbalist but if you want the power that comes from heaven it must match your level of addiction you will never have more power beyond your addiction no your addiction defines the flow of the anointing how addicted are you to God as a person Two. how addicted are you to his kingdom to seeing his kingdom come don't say I'm addicted it shows in your giving it shows in your time it shows in your service in the house of God don't tell me you are addicted to God when you can be comfortable and come and sit in a ministry for months and years and you are not part of building that house you are not addicted no it says as the deer pants after the water brooks so my soul pants after you it was the psalmist that said this he says oh lord you are my god he said early will i seek you my soul thirsts for you right to see your power and your glory let me tell you something many christians in our generation we love god we are born again but we are too ashamed of our addiction addiction the same way have you seen someone addicted to uh, what they call this thing indian hemp the person will not mind coming to meet a small child and say sir please give me 10 naira. i have not eaten he's lying so obviously but because he cannot help it if you can still manage your passion for god you don't love him enough oh let's let's be real let's let's not act like fools you are joking you want power i'm telling you you must fall in love with god with all your heart not fall in love with the healing anointing many of us are i you know i pray for people and most times when people come that i pray for them so that they will receive double portion or triple portion or whatever i know they don't love god they even love me more than god i see it in their expression that they only love me because we have taught that you should honor a man you know that they love me more than god you know they love that anointing more than god anything above god even if he gave you is an idol whatever it is please hear me do you love god more than your beauty do you love god more than power do you love god more than koinonia do you love god more than joshua selman 
that's addiction do you love god more than marriage do you love god more than more than whatever it's all these carnal things that take our time please fall in love with god in a way that nothing in time people get jobs when they lose jobs they backslide what a shame to your passion for god you are in a relationship someone says i will marry you all of a sudden he says i'm not doing and you leave god god i'm angry Aye. jesus told the disciples he said will you also go and they said to whom shall we go where, where are we going leaving you is no longer an option if you never bless me i still i mean i still owe you my love forever please let me tell you something if you want power from god stop seeking god just because of things stop seeking god just because of things oh lord i want your tie i want your hand and we bend god's hand with fasting and prayer no how many pastors want to see god glorified in their assemblies very little i can tell you this many pastors fast some of you are like that probably you came from somewhere you are sitting boiling waiting for the time of impartation and god is saying calm down not so so that you will not go back disappointed god is not a herbalist there is a protocol to true spiritual power addiction addiction outspoken christianity outspoken christianity not the type you off your ringtone because you are in a place that 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 will fall your hand if god falls your hand you are falling i tell you i rather be a doorkeeper the psalmist said i will trade my palace and its honor to serve god forever you will be forever you will be the lamb upon the throne the lamb upon the throne and i gladly bow my To worship you alone. MOG. It's time to seek God more than ministry. Your ministry is distracting you and killing you from God. You have carried ministry and put on your head like a luggage that came from demons. And you, you will afford for your secret place to suffer so that you will fulfill a ministerial schedule. I can cancel any ministration for my secret place. You know, we think being busy is ministry. Oh, today I'm in Hawaii. Tomorrow I'm in Dubai. Next tomorrow I'm in South Africa. Next tomorrow I'm in UK. Then I'm in Aquaibon. I'm in London. And we think because we are hopping up and down, we are doing ministry. Let me tell you, you may be doing all these things, but before God, you are not doing anything. Your heart is more important than your voice to God. Don't think because you are always talking it means God is hearing you no your heart number three let's hurry up I want us to pray what is the third key the baptism of the Holy Ghost the third key to fire in your life is the baptism of the Holy Ghost slash prayers so you write it slash prayers that the experience of the baptism of the Holy Spirit. First Corinthians chapter 2 verse 7. The baptism of the Holy Spirit. Backed up by the ability to pray in tongues. Fluent tongues. Now, there's no time for me to go into this discussion. Please don't stop, Mike. Don't stop. You see... This concept of prayer and the concept of the baptism of the Holy Spirit has been hijacked by Satan. Please listen to me. It is not a denominational perspective. It has nothing to do with Pentecostalism and charismatism. I was never filled with the Holy Ghost in any church. There is no pastor, no denomination that can claim that it was because I was in the assembly. No. 
God did that for me specifically so that I will be able to communicate these truths to people the devil has cheated us and I know many of us is in fear so that we don't get into witchcraft and diabolism I understand and I respect your passion but listen to me if you want power in this kingdom that endowment with power that endowment with power ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost comes upon you Acts chapter 2 from verse 1 to 4 says now when the day of Pentecost were fully come he said they were gathered together in one accord verse 2 says suddenly suddenly not gradually the baptism does not happen gradually suddenly are we together suddenly they had a sound that sound as of a mighty rushing wind and the bible says it came and filled the room and then the bible says they saw what looked like cloven tongues as of fire and it rested on each each one of them not some they're not as shared each one of them then the bible says then they began to speak with tongues as the holy ghost gave them utterance they were 120 in the upper room it was such an experience that all the people around that place came and saw the mighty things they were doing and they said these men were drunk with new wine they linked that experience with wine the same way a man drinks beer one bottle two bottles ten bottles at the 11th one is not himself again another influence takes him so when they saw the men he said you are behaving like those who have taken this thing are we together now and then in Acts chapter 3 still well Acts chapter 2 when Peter finished preaching to them the Bible says they were caught to the heart and this is what they said men and brethren what shall we do and then he says repent for the remission of your sins and then he says you shall receive this promise for the promise is unto you and your children and your children's children and as many as are far off as many as the Lord will call that included us are we together yeah in Acts chapter 19 from verse 1 to 4 is the most classic explanation of the baptism of the Holy Spirit Paul having passed through the upper coast the Bible says he came and he found certain disciples disciples they were already born again give us Acts please 19 1 to 4 they had passed through the upper coast the Bible says Paul came and found certain disciples are we together and then he asked them a question verse 2 he says have ye received the Holy Ghost since ye believe meaning it's not the same experience has been born again initiated by the same spirit but there are two separate experiences have you received the Holy Ghost since he believed and then they replied him they said we have not even heard if there be any Holy Ghost and Paul was surprised and then he says unto what then were you baptized he was asking them a question and they said the baptism of John then Paul began to explain to them he said the baptism of John was a baptism of repentance that they should believe on the one who was to come that means it was Jesus Christ and afterwards Paul said the, the Bible says they were now baptized to the name of Jesus Christ and then Paul laid his hands upon them and then the Holy Spirit came upon them and they spoke with tongues right they were 12 in number have you received the Holy Ghost have you received that empowerment since you believed when you read let's read from 18 18 the last five verses if you can give it to us right the Bible talks about a very intelligent man hallelujah um no not 19 verse 18 18 Acts 18 Acts 18 please the last four verses Acts 18 Media, are you with us? Acts 18. Okay, let's just let's just turn there so we don't waste time. Okay. 
Now the Bible says, give us from verse 24. Let's start from 24. Listen to this story. A certain Jew named who? Apollos. And the Bible says Apollos was born at Alexandria. He said he was a man who was mighty in scriptures. He was eloquent. He was an orator. Are we together? And then the Bible says he came to Ephesus. Ephesus is not the place you come and preach nonsense. It's where Paul got his revelation of the highest church truth. There was a goddess called Diana in Ephesus. She was the goddess that controlled that center of economy. So you had to be sound and mighty in scriptures. Now Apollos came. Next verse. 25. He said the man was instructed in the way of the Lord. And was what? Fervent in spirit. Zealous. The Bible says. And he spake and taught diligently the things of the Lord. But he had a limitation. What was his limitation? Knowing only the baptism of John. He was born again and he knew repentance. Like many people in churches, like many pastors, they are zealous, they love God, but the scope of the understanding of God is the baptism of John. Let's see what happened. One day, he went to a crusade to impress everybody as usual. He says, and he began to speak in the synagogue and then there were two strange men in that synagogue. There were men who were powerful people of the spirit called Aquila and Priscilla they said when they had him and they they took him with them they said we see zeal in you but you are limited there is a theology that has not been taught to you we want to upgrade your scope of the understanding of God the Bible says they took him hear me and then they says they expounded to him the way of God more what perfectly Let's see what he did as a result. Next verse. And when he was disposed and passed to Achaia, the brethren wrote exhorting the disciples to receive him. The Bible says, who when he was come, he helped them much which believed through grace. Let's see what he did. Next verse. For he mightily convinced the Jews. Now he had an evidence. He didn't just speak to them. In the former verses, he was eloquent. Sorry, but now he could convince them that publicly showing by the scriptures that Jesus was the Christ. This was not just gist again. There was an evidence. There was an empowerment. Listen, you must be tired of explanations. Oh, God is this. God is that. One miracle can answer a thousand questions. There is no amount of message you want to preach that will impress men again. The internet is full of messages. There are all kinds of men of God with perspectives. All across Africa, all across the world, messages are now free. What the world needs is a demonstration of power. Romans chapter 8, please. Verse 19. Romans chapter 8 For the earnest expectation of the creator waited for the manifestation not the explanation not the discussion Let's see it in the New Living Translation or the Message Bible I'm looking for the version that says creation is waiting for the sons to reveal who they truly are There is a version like that 8 verse 19 not 20, 8 verse 19. 8 verse 19. Uh, thank you. NLT. For creation is what? Eagerly waiting for that future day when God will reveal who his children really are. Because the Bible says it does not yet appear. They are still looking at us and they think we are like them. But there is an activity happening in us. The Bible says, Behold what manner of love the Father had bestowed upon us that we should be called sons of God. Are we together? The Bible says, Now are we the sons of God. And it does not yet appear what we shall be like. We are still in the formation. There is still a building. Christ is still being formed in us. Like Paul prayed to the church. He said, My little children of whom I travel until Christ be formed. For when he's done, 
let me tell you he will produce a wonder in our lives first corinthians 2 verse 7 quickly and then we'll go to the last key and we'll pray first corinthians 2 verse 7 he says talking about the mystery of this language of the spirit he said no please give it to us um okay no problem no problem let's just sleep again it says no the wisdom we speak shakabaka tabarataba it doesn't make sense but the bible calls it the hidden wisdom god put it like that so that only humble people can walk in it if you are not humble enough to receive that hidden wisdom the bible says we speak the wisdom we speak of is what the mystery everybody say mystery the same way there is a traditional festival and you see people going around fire and making enchantments and putting fire on their body have you seen that happen and it doesn't burn them they put the fire in their mouth and bring it out they carry knife and put it in their mouth and it enters and brings it out because they are operating on a mystery the bible says to the believer there is a mystery that has been given you It says the mystery of God his plan that was he previously hidden what was it he said even though he made it for our ultimate glory so one secret to your entering the glory is this mystery called tongues when a man locks up himself and begins to pray people say you are just talking nonsense no problem it's the same way you talk nonsense and call it laughter. <laughs> and nobody laughs at you. It's intelligent. In fact, people accuse you for not laughing. Who taught you how to laugh? The same way your cry, as sarcastic as it looks, it compels compassion. Tongues is also like that. Don't let anybody tell you you are taught to pray in tongues. When you slap a baby, Shade, when you gave birth to your child, and they slapped the child and the child started crying who taught the child that they cry with the mouth not the eyes it was programmed there listen i want you to know that the believer is supernatural when you remove the supernatural we are just herbalists leaders or and followers of a religion don't remove the supernatural dimension hallelujah made for our glory any man who does not pray cannot reveal the glory of God. There is a relationship between prayer and power. Acts 1 verse 8, you shall receive power. Acts 2 verse 1 to 4, they receive tongues. Jesus didn't say you will receive tongues. He said you receive power. But in Acts chapter 2, they receive tongues. Meaning there is a system that tongues uses to translate and produce power in a man. It was Paul himself that said, I thank my God. I pray in tongues more than ye all. Hallelujah. Luke 18 verse 1. He spake a parable unto them to the end that men ought always to pray and not to faint. 1 Thessalonians 5 17. Pray without season. It doesn't mean pray from morning till night. You'll be an irresponsible person. It means pray consistently. The Bible says, and the fire upon the altar, it shall never go down day or night. Let me tell you something. Whatever attacks your prayer life has really destroyed your life. It's cheaper for your finances to be attacked than for your prayer life. It's cheaper, as bad as it is, for your health to be attacked than your prayer life. And let me tell you how Satan attacks you. He makes you to resent everybody that can help you. You fight and quarrel them and push them. When you are alone, then he attacks you. Satan never attacks you until he creates an occasion through bitterness, through anger, through fault finding. So everybody that can help you and intercede for you, he cuts you away from them and then he leaves you alone. Solitude is a sign that darkness is close to you. Listen, listen. Excessive solitude. I'm not talking of just retreating to pray when there is a desire in you to not hear people to not listen you are in a world of your own it's a sign that darkness is close to you it's a strategy for your destruction 
the last key to receiving unction to reveal the glory is called impartation the mystery of impartation transference of grace transference of unction transference of power Numbers chapter 27 we'll just look at one example so that we pray let's see what transpired between Moses and Joshua a classic sign of biblical impartation Numbers 27 verse 18 to 23 Numbers chapter 27 please write this scripture down and study it with all your heart this was God instructing Moses to prepare Joshua for ministry are we together are you ready let's read one to read and the Lord said unto Moses take thee Joshua the son of Nun a man in whom is the spirit and do what lay your hands upon him that what should happen next verse and set him before Eleazar the priest and before all the congregation and give him a charge in their sight are we together and he says and thou shalt put some of thine honor can you show me where honor is in a man God said don't just through impartation transfer your spirit transfer your honor I told you honor is not something you fight for it's a mantle that all the congregation of the children of Israel may be obedient there is a mantle that makes men loyal to a grace it's not by shouting and saying obey me there is a mantle and he shall stand before Eleazar the priest who shall speak counsel for him and so on and so forth and so on and so forth now let's see what happened Deuteronomy chapter 3 chapter 34 verse 9 just one scripture Deuteronomy 34 is still a continuation of this story Deuteronomy 34 verse 9 let's read together one two read uh -huh. was full of the spirit of wisdom why for Moses had what laid his hands upon him and the children of Israel hearkened unto him listen you know why people don't listen to you because you are trying to do ministry using seniority you are trying to do ministry saying don't disrespect me there is an unction that compels loyalty men are not loyal to a man just because he can preach they will clap for you when you see a ministry that can follow a man unto death brothers and sisters there is a mystery upon his head I can tell you Koinonia has that mystery hmm. you see ba, there are secrets in this kingdom there are secrets in this kingdom the one you can find is the one you will live by the one you do not know is the one that will chain you forever God said, I want to honor Joshua, but I will not ignore a vessel who is already carrying it. He said, Moses, it is within your power to put your spirit and your honor upon him. Listen, you can carry a man's grace and the virtue of God upon his life and reap. You can trace an anointing and know where it came from. Are we together? You can see a man stand on stage and know that this came from Benny Hinn. This one. You can see this prayer fire and know this one came from Duncan Williams. This one did not just come from this. You can see a prosperity mantle and trace it. Anointings are like address. They can show you where they came from. I'm a product of many anointings. The glory revealed through the anointing the anointing giving you capacity to produce an evidence an evidence 
and evidence there are different kinds of anointings there is the power to prosper shout it say the power to prosper I want you to shout it like you mean it say the power to prosper this is what many people need to pray for I'm not against business ideas I teach you principles there's financial dominion but I can tell you there is such a thing as the power to prosper if you don't have it I've seen people who have all kinds of business ideas but the power to prosper is not a business idea the power to prosper is a grace that compels creation to respond to you in a certain way Jesus had it he said go and you will see a donkey a colt no man had written on it bring it the owner could not say no what kind of grace is that that's the grace that will make you tell somebody we need speakers for our program and he said take it that's the grace that will make somebody say take my car and be using it for this crusade there is such a grace let me tell you something how you will know the power to prosper is not in your life is that you pay for everything if you pay for everything the power to prosper is not it's not about being a millionaire the power to prosper is not about being a millionaire it's about the supernatural speaking in your life men are rising to help you when there is trouble listen if you are in trouble and there is no man who can arise to help you I'm telling you the power to prosper is not the power for finances we have reduced it to money every time preachers preach they, they mean the power to give you dollars please don't insult God money was an idea by the time that scripture was written there was no naira there was no dollar it's the power that moves you forward even if it must raise help us from anywhere I want you to believe this by the grace of God this is how this ministry came the power to prosper listen please I don't know how I don't want you to think money money is part of it if you think money you will be you will think I am saying the power to get money to buy watch and suit that's nonsense that's not what I'm talking about to prosper means to do well to prosper means by all means you will excel are we together the pros the power to prosper is the power that moves men to support your interest at the expense of their own interest when you see a man a man who can leave his own assignment and pursue another man's assignment there is power to prosper there that's what God wanted to give us but pastors have told us the power to prosper is the power to buy a nice shoe and you sit down and pray for hours you don't need to be born again to buy a nice shoe you just need to offer value and it will come this is this is not about getting money for shoe the power that causes men to move you forward you can have money but do you have helpers you can have money but do you have endorsers you can have money but do you have men that can lift your hand this is the power to prosper say I need the power to prosper the key to suffering in a Christian's life is to ignore the power to prosper believe me you may get a job very soon you will find out that money does not do everything money is not everything money is very important don't get me wrong but money is not everything there are people today who are in houses that they are not paying the rent that's the power to prosper you can have 500,000 to rent a duplex you can have 2.5 million to rent a duplex that's not necessarily the power to prosper that's good financial acumen good financial intelligence and that's commendable but the power to prosper is that you can leave your house with nothing and return back with miracles because there are men stationed anywhere whether you forget your money or not it doesn't make any difference because there is an unction that sends helpers as at when due that's the power to prosper and if our God is for us then who can never stop us and if our God is for us then what can stop us help me
the clearest proof of the power to prosper is the ministry of men in your life the ministry of men in your life help us everywhere please listen it's not just intelligence to produce results by yourself this body is limited there is too much you can do there is only so much you can do with this body are we together yes see let me tell you something if the only job of the power to prosper is to give you money then Bill Gates can mock the church are we together you know we think all there is to the power to prosper is money I don't insult any man of God we have preached this thing but I'm saying we have limited the power to prosper to money so those who don't like money just say no 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 I don't like it to reject the power to prosper is like to cut two of your legs in the spirit how else will you move are we together the Bible says David was in the cave of Adullam by himself all of a sudden 400 men that's the power to prosper they came to him in the cave and they said be a leader of the, over us we will hear you and we will walk with you in ancient times you were not rich if you just had money they can come and beat you and kill you and remove your head and carry the gold you were rich if you had people people it was a battle of territory and loyalty but in our generation now you can be a, a greedy person that just looted from the national treasury and carry money and buy suits and come and deceive us we know what the power to prosper is there are people who are rich but they do not have it that's why they don't give god the glory when you suffer for everything you can't give god the glory are we together you suffer to get a job you suffer to keep it you suffer to buy a car you suffer to change another one you suffer to get your wife pregnant suffering all around how can you give god the glory but when you sit down and watch god god will say son i want to embarrass you stand still you have done something that has touched me stand still hallelujah one time we're coming back from ekiti and when we're coming back from Ekiti, I don't share too much of these testimonies. But someone just did a heavy transfer into the ministry's account. Honestly, I don't even know the person. I had to ask the protocol people, do you know this person? Help us everywhere. Not just cash. Not just kind someone will come and meet you and say there is a property somewhere i could not sleep the lord said i should bless you power to prosper someone says from today until december i will fuel the generator of koinonia don't even tell apostle that's the power to prosper they make your journey easy by making you lighter you can have the money but you won't sleep because of it let me tell you one of the graces I trust God to release tonight is the power to prosper. I'm explaining it to you so that you will believe. If it's not in your life, you are going to cry this night. Because some of us, it, once you are stranded, you are dead there. No helper. You call and everybody ends your call. It's not about hustling. It's about Ebenezer, the helper of Zion. Are we together? If you don't believe what I'm teaching you, I don't know how else to explain it to you. Are we together? There are so many people in Koinonia here preparing for marriage. The economy of Nigeria has become so fierce. If you don't have the power to prosper you will suffer you can get a job after laboring for years in the university you get a job and someone just says where are you from and you say I'm Yoruba he says you are not Hausa leave the job it just brings in sentiment to cancel your five six seven years of labor that's the world we live in now are we together are you my brother are you a Christian or otherwise? Are you this? Are you from the same village? Not what do you have to give? 
in that world of wickedness you want to move forward you want to plant a church i was not born in zaria i'm not from kaduna state you don't go to another man's state and do ministry if you don't have the power to prosper there is loyalty that comes with territory are we together that's why jesus told the people start from jerusalem but when you go to a foreign territory brothers and sisters you need the power to prosper that's what our fathers have used and they have opened branches of their ministries in uk in france huh someone speaks yoruba and another person interprets in french and the people never leave there is a pastor writing things in france and people would rather stay there and redeemed mfm is there moving as if the devil does not exist you will find places where i was i was dedicating a woman's child um she used to be in zaria but now she's in france she was in holland god used us you know and then there was a miracle for her after many years she had a child and she went to different churches the presbyterian churches there were not dedicating children they didn't collect tithes and they were not dedicating children because the government was sanctioning and i told her i said uh -uh, you mean there's no church around and she said the only living church in this area is redeemed i said redeemed again redeemed again how did you get there now and the pastor there is a yoruba person come on now power to prosper you enter a land and become indomitable a firm grasp of territories not intimidated by any government they will come and go the mystery keeps you there now they are downsizing workers between now and december a lot will happen i've told us i told us at first of january this thing will not go well in terms of the economy i'm not a prophet of doom but i told us there is a mystery of exemption that's why god said this are year of multiplied grace and influence isaiah 60 verse 1 to 3 it says gentiles shall come hallelujah if you are looking for a better nigeria this year i tell you the truth under god you are joking i love nigeria are we together i'm a very loyal citizen of this nation but this is prophecy it's an unfolding of events some things will happen the only thing is that there is an exemption the power to prosper please you, you we, when it's time to pray you will cry it in your life that's what makes you different from unbelievers are we together that's the only condition where you can look at your life and give god glory you say no i know the school fees of my children before i will go to pay it someone has paid it and he will never tell you who he is write it again if you did not write it the ultimate proof that the anointing to prosper is upon your life is the ministry of men the ministry of helpers not just business ideas it takes men to make things happen have you not seen people with ideas and they died with their ideas someone called pastor Tunde Bakare and told him he said I love you and I've invested 200 million in an investment for you it's just growing whenever you need it they can talk to you and he said what for he said I'm okay and the man said no I had to do it you are my pastor Hi. when a man argues with you about blessing you There is such a thing and we are going to pray there are many other anointings the power listen the power to heal the sick there are three i'm going to teach us ah, there's no time let me just go straight to the three that the lord told me that's number one the power to prosper number two hmm. are you ready it's called resurrection power don't claim you know what it is just listen to me resurrection power is about the apex the zenith of a man's manifestation of the anointing what is resurrection the ability to make dead things come back to life is the hallmark of creation are we together let me tell you something there is resurrection power the bible says ephesians please help us ephesians 1 verse 17 we are reading down to 20 for this call paul says for this cause i paul i bow my knees right 
to the father of glory that he may give unto you listen the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him next verse the eyes of your understanding being enlightened or flooded with light he said that he may what know what is the hope of his calling and what is the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints here it comes verse 19 read it if you're a christian one to go and what is the exceeding greatness of his what power to us who believe according to the working of his mighty power what mighty power next verse which he wrought in christ when he what raised him the power that can raise a thing that has died is power indeed the power that can heal what is alive is power but the power that can raise what is dead come on you carry that anointing and enter a lifeless environment and something gives life isaiah 32 verse 15 we are praying this one scripture and then we we'll stand up and pray let me show you that there is an ability that can bring life to dead things it is called resurrection power brothers and sisters get this anointing and your life will change no matter what it is it's a matter of time an influence upon you read it 32 want to read until the spirit be poured upon us from on high then what happens and the wilderness be counted for a fruitful vine uh -huh. and a fruitful vine be counted for a forest that's the power of resurrection you step into a desert place spirit have your way in us today spirit take your throne as we are changed chapter 37 there is an anointing that can restore I tell you I feel the anointing of the spirit Ezekiel 37 the hand of the Lord was upon me and he carried me in the spirit listen and set me down in the midst of a valley that was full of what? bones no structure This power of restoration together with the power of resurrection and the power to prosper will make you indomitable believe me verse 2 verse 2 and cause me to pass by them round about and behold there were very many bones and they were what very dry listen you will step into the life of people with age-long issues the devil has stolen from them it's not just that the situation is dead it was stolen then son of man verse 3 he says can these bones live and he says only thou no west verse 4 this is one key to releasing the anointing and he said unto me prophesy speak Hagar speak command Hagar instruct compel let it be 
upon these bones and say unto them, O ye dry bones, who speaks to bones? Who speaks to bones? Dogs eat bones. Men throw bones. God speaks to bones. It says, Hear ye the word of the Lord. And then let's read verse 5. And behold, I will cause bread to enter you. Go to verse 7. So I prophesied, not as I wanted, as I was commanded. And there was what? A noise. The same noise in Acts chapter 2 verse 1. There was a sound. And behold, a shaking. And the Bible says, and behold, bones came together. This is not just resurrection. This is restoration. Are we together? We are going to pray. Hold hands together. In the next five minutes, I'd like you to blast in tongues like an angry man who is tapping into power. Lift your voice and pray. Pray like a man, like a woman who is about to take delivery of unction to function. Praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I like you to look in one minute at your life. See the barriers that have stood before you because they are about to be smashed into pieces. Something is about to come upon your life that will move you forward. Something is about to come upon your life that will drive you to the next level. Something is about to come upon your life. The power to run. The power to run. The power to run. The power to fly. The power to run. Please lift your hands.
Listen. Listen. It is not about falling down. Don't be distracted with falling down. Open your spirit and receive something that will change your life. Don't just focus on falling down. The Holy Ghost is doing his thing. But beyond falling down, open up your heart to receive. Children, adults, don't say no. Some people cannot receive. You have a child, stand for them. Don't say they cannot receive. Paul said for I long to see you that I may impart upon you some spiritual gift to the end that ye may be established lift your hands I want to pray for you the glory of God is revealed in a man when there is an anointing right now in the name that is above all names I stand upon this apostolic and prophetic office and I declare that at the count of three by the ministry of angels by the unction by the ministry and the mystery that surrounds this office right now at the count of three I declare that this unction fall inside and outside online and everywhere one two three take it take it take it right now receive it power receive it fire shaka baba katala baba inside the overflows right now right now right now every row every row every column every row the thousands following online i release it upon you you that are listening in your home you that are listening in your room the power of the holy ghost the power of the holy ghost the power of the Holy Ghost in your life, in your ministry, in your business. The power of the Holy Ghost. The power. Take it now. Lift your hands. There is an anointing called the power to prosper. Lift your hands and receive it. I pray for you now. Shaka Paratai. I have seen this in my life. I have seen this in this ministry. The ministry of man making your life easy. Right now, in the name of Jesus, receive the power to prosper. Take the power to prosper. Take the power to prosper in your ministry. Take the power to prosper in your job. The power to prosper in your academics. The power to prosper in your business. The power to prosper. By this anointing every struggle in your life where you labor by yourself for result it comes to an end this night it comes to an end this night number two the power that can quicken things if that same spirit which raised Christ from the dead dwells in your mortal body. That same spirit will revitalize. Ay, 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 ay. Will revitalize. Hallelujah. The Lord is giving me a sign for many of you to be your right hand. I don't know what I'm saying, but your right hand 
in a supernatural way your right hand i see the right hand of many people shaking this is what the lord is showing me right now that anointing for resurrection all over this auditorium take it now take it now take it now take it now every dead thing come alive come alive talita kumi come alive talita kumi dead academics dead relationships You must understand the object of your desire and you must understand the system that helps you achieve that miracle there are people here tonight in response to delay and stagnation nothing seems to work nothing it is a bit comforting if other doors open and others are closed it will inspire you to trust that others but it's a terrible thing when all doors in your life close family closed finances closed your body everything closed there are people here because of an acute state of limitation invisible barriers around your life limitation is not retardation limitation is that a a mark has been created that you cannot cross so you rise and you get to a certain place and there is something that pegs you at that level and you never rise. I watch it all the time. Pastors, leaders, business people, individuals, helplessly limited. Sincere, but they are limited. Tonight the God I serve will take that limit away. There are people here with sicknesses diseases, infirmities, real sicknesses. Probably with death sentences from different medical hospitals and um, maybe they've told you you have a few months to live, you have a few weeks to live. Now, and of course, we have a lot of doctors here. I respect their opinion. That's their opinion. is their educated opinion. But tonight, whose report will you believe? I believe in Jesus. I believe in his words. There are people here with all kinds of marital and family issues. Husband is about to go. Wife is about to go. Children are haywire and they are trusting Lord would you give us order. Of course it is within his power. To bring sanity and order i mentioned these things to build your faith to help you know that your situation is within the scope of god's understanding and he can deal with it because sometimes we stay so long in the decadence of our situations that we wonder if god is aware that such a thing can happen to men let me tell you the god we serve is all knowing all knowing and it is within his power to solve that problem tonight there are people here with all kinds of barrenness all kinds biological barrenness and all sorts of unfruitfulness in different areas probably trusting god for children and all of that i came back from abuja um in the course of the week and um when i went there i was i was counseling a few people and then i saw a young lady i think a, a couple or so i can't remember exactly and they were excited the last time i was there 
the woman, the lady had been, they'd been trusting God for a child, all kinds of funny medical reports, you know, she had something in her womb, her tubes, I don't know what, what, they gave all kinds of stories. And there, she had given birth, you know, to a very bouncing, healthy a child, and she was telling me the news and laughing. Listen, be careful what you believe. It is within your power to choose what you believe. Nothing forces itself on you. You can choose. This is a wonderful thing. This is a fact, but I choose to reject it. It's a choice. Anything that is not consistent with the counsel of God, it is within your power to choose to reject it. Are we together? There are people here under all kinds of academic and career challenges. No job, no lifting, all kinds of strange occurrences that are not consistent with God's desire. How about demonic patterns, mysterious occurrences in the lives of people? Patterns that you cannot account for. God wants to step in. There are people here, and I believe this probably affects a lot of people, especially with the recession, the reality of lack and poverty. Lord, what is the way out? Lord, what is the way out? I can't keep struggling from hand to mouth. We've shared extensively. There are all kinds of teachings about the economic system of the kingdom and I would plead that you get those teachings they are free because when it comes to prosperity the gospel has to be taught there is an understanding that must be built in your mind now God can give you breakthrough as a communication of his might and mercy but you are never established financially through breakthrough it will take an understanding to build a system that lifts you out of the realm and the grip of poverty forever say amen there are people here trusting God for direction. You have come confused, not knowing what to do. You thought you had God, but right now you are in the middle of total confusion and God must speak for you. I want to welcome you because in his presence there is direction. And finally, all of these are lists that the Spirit of God was just writing out for me as I, I mean just stating out as I, I, I wrote them out. And lastly, there are people here trusting God for very strong impartations. What is an impartation? A transference of possibilities. Transference of possibilities. Impartation is as real as the chair you are sitting on. You can transfer possibilities. Possibilities also come with the alignment that makes those dimensions of the anointing function freely transference of possibility see the thing with the anointing is if it is there it is there if it is not there it is not there it's as simple as that if you are not sure it is not there it's like a woman who is pregnant for a while she may doubt if she's pregnant or not but the time comes it becomes very clear very obvious regardless of where your request falls in this i want you to know that the god of heaven who has gathered us tonight will visit you and give you testimonies it's going to be a very quick walk tonight. The Lord is going to be healing the sick. The Lord is going to be setting the captives free. And like I told us last week, it is also an anointing service. And I don't, I don't do anointing services carelessly, but there are instructions that God gave me. The anointing oil that will be used tonight, the Lord asked me, it's been with me since uh, I think yesterday. I prayed with it all through until um, it was only this morning while I was coming that I carried it and brought it. There is a heavy grace. Oil does not anoint. The oil has to be anointed itself by a, a vessel who is anointed. Nothing is anointed on its own. It has to be anointed to become a platform. Are we together now? Tonight, what is your responsibility? Be convicted. Be persuaded that God is able. All that has happened before now, the prayers, the testimonies, and all of that is to build your faith. Some of you are coming here for the first time. You've heard about the miracles. Many of you have a cynical attitude of doubting men of God. Everybody you see walking in unusual dimensions of the anointing. We have joined naysayers around town to think everybody is fake. Everybody is a devil. Everybody is using charm. You know, I humorously said it last week. Uh, even if you use charm the condition to carry the kind of power you see even through a charm is a condition that you have to think twice people just say it as if you just collect a charm and put it in your pocket no sir 
God gave gifts to men. The gifts are not talents. The gifts are people. He anointed people by his predetermined counsel so that they can be platforms to be able to communicate his possibilities to people. I'm honored every time I have the opportunity to minister. There are people streaming from all over the world with different issues. Several nations, at least 47 or so nations of the world, if I'm not mistaken, connecting. And God cannot be joking. He's not playing games with us. Are we together? Everybody say, I believe. Say, Lord, tonight, I believe you. I know you are able. And I trust you to step in. In the name of Jesus. It will be for you like day and night. Just all of a sudden. You will find out. That that door that has been closed. Maybe forever. Listen. It doesn't take time. Time is not in the equation. I've taught you this. Time is never in the equation. The anointing of the spirit is not a suggestion. The anointing of the spirit is God's possibility at work in men that causes men to manifest results they were not born with. Are we together now? We are talking about a dimension that is superior to any intelligence of men. This is not some kind of superior science. This is not superior spiritism. We are talking of God showing up in the scene, standing face to face with a man's barrier. Hallelujah. I want you to be angry tonight and insist. Thank you. And say, Lord, that door must be open. I was so touched and blessed during the prayer session. Have you experienced the reality of triumph? I mean, there are people here who, whose testimonies have been tearsome. Tonight, you can activate something that will make your six to eight hours spent here to be worth the while that you get up in the morning and within three days one door opens another door opens another dimension of encounter all of a sudden hunger all of a sudden you step back to your church and fire on the altar i mean just by stepping and people are rising up from wheelchairs and miracles signs and wonders you bless people you shake someone's hand and all through that day a door opens you introduce something i believe it i believe it the lord wants to turn you to literally be supernatural supernatural not just in this blind talk of supernatural that does not produce results literally that your life becomes a testament that they would look at you like they did Paul and Barnabas and they called them Zeus and Hermes, Greek gods because they, they discerned that this level of result cannot happen with men. Listen, believe it. Believe it, brothers and sisters. Yokes are breakable. Causes are destroyable. Limitations are breakable. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Sicknesses are healable anointings are impartable there is nothing that you desire don't make it look as though god is mising his power no he is able to stretch his hands and do mighty things but you must believe tonight we love ourselves but everybody is going to have to stand and contend and say lord i have seen a dimension of your grace but i must step into it lord i have seen a dimension of breakthrough and favor but it's not yet a reality in my life. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome, you overcome. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be you over. You are the victors Hold on. You overcome. You know why I started singing that song? I saw a crown. That's why I started singing it. Listen, you see, the way the Spirit of God works is that He reveals the dimension of God that He wants to make manifest in the midst of the people. Are we together now? That's why I raised that song. You need to learn how to partner with the supernatural. 
he shows you like a luring this is a dimension it's up to you to respond yeah lord we receive the spirit and the bride telling the word to come the word has revealed his intention so the spirit communicates to the bride and the bride in partnership with the spirit says come come lord jesus come miracles come breakthroughs come deliverances come open doors come speed come speed loose chains loose bands god is a mighty god do not allow your situations diminish the power of god it doesn't take time the level of grace it takes to produce your results is available mm. it's available i've taught you that there are three dimensions for reception in the spirit number one is through encounters when you have an encounter something is deposited into you number two by obedience to principles there is a dimension of god's power that is deposited in principles whether a believer or an unbeliever whoever activates those principles that dimension of his power is released immediately like the power of seed time and harvest is not for christians a dimension of god's power was encapsulated in that principle but the third dimension of reception is alignment through a man's covenant with god men have covenant with god not old and new their dealings with god have brought them to a point where god has vow a vow on their behalf and you can stand upon the platform of their dealings with god and receive realities that your faith level cannot afford every high thing must come down every stronghold shall be broken you wear the victors round you overcome you overcome every high thing must come down every stronghold shall be broken you wear the victors round you overcome you overcome let me tell you something that happened yesterday i didn't plan to share it but but something happened i was sleeping and i had a dream i thought it was a dream yesterday now while i was sleeping i had a dream and then because i had kept the jar of oil and i opened the cover and then i had a dream now you know i don't share so much of my encounters because there are all kinds of cynical people and i had the, a dream and then the lord was telling me you know I should how I'm going to pray on the oil that later on we use to minister to you and then something strange happened I just opened my eyes and there was an angel standing at the door my door now now those those experiences are not strange to me you know but this was very unique he stood there and I looked and oil started coming out of my hand and the Lord says I should put my hand on this jar this jar and I tell you I was surprised it would almost be maybe the quarter the size of a cup i just put my hand there and i was just praying in the spirit that was the instruction that god gave me gave me that instruction that's why i told you oil does not anoint there is an encounter there is an encounter are we together now there is an encounter and when it began to happen i was i was i was well i wasn't surprised but then when everything was done the angel never even said anything just at my door just stood there and was watching and when it was time i noticed of course my hands were still wet but it didn't seem to be flowing and that was it whether he went through the door went up i don't even know how he left and that was the end of it right from the time you know my boys that come to work for me i started sensing that there were going to be visitations of the spirit and i was hurrying up to dismiss them as soon as they left i just locked the door and i sat down and boom my room was full of god's presence and all of that and, and i i when i sat down my eyes were open and all of a sudden i saw gates gates opening like gates very strange gates opening but then i knew that god by that vision was telling me what among other things would happen in the meeting but most importantly what the anointing would do listen ladies and gentlemen the lord will bring breakthroughs in your life today that will surprise you you believe that rise up on your feet I want you to lift up your voice and pray one minute. 
He said, Father, I'm set for your visitation. My faith is alive and I believe you. Lift your voice and pray. My faith is alive. I believe you. Jabrandos katapracatalados. Encreto katalabrande secate pracatalabadas. Jabrete cate proscodo brandi gedibalas. Jabrendes caria da balada balada bosch. Mambroto sodo pracata barada balada baladas. Lord, we receive. We receive. Hallelujah. We are going to be very fast. Tonight is a vigil. I know that, in fact, you can't believe how far time has gone. But I trust God for grace tonight. I want to see how God will grant me grace. And I'll be able to come out to all the overflows. All the overflows. One, two, three. By the grace of God. And He will grant us grace. In the name of Jesus Christ. 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 Please bring the three people now that the power of God comes. I'm seeing an angel walking and touching three people in here, all inside here now. Will you open up the gate? Yeah. Open up the door. Will you open up the gate? Carato Sodo Brascada Valia Tacata. Open up the gate. Cabranda Gata Sodo Bosco La Varia Tacata. Open up the door. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. I'm going to pray for breakthrough now. Such a strange grace. Strange grace. Strange grace. There are people here who have been tied. It's time to release that grace for breakthrough. And I want you to bring them out. Please don't stop playing. Please, guys, we know this. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare. Right now, at the count of three, let that breakthrough anointing right now begin to touch and change the lives of people. One, two, three. Take that breakthrough now. Take that breakthrough now. Bring them out. Shapatakata. Step into that dimension. Take it, take it, take it, box right at the back. I see the angels of the Lord bringing people into strange levels of breakthrough. Breakthrough. Shapatos kelataria. Mente kotos shotos. Eprekete kaya. No limitation. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Breakthroughs. 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 By the power of the Holy Ghost, breakthroughs. Shapos katala tosia, embrekete ketos, shakato setas. Never be the same. Never be the same. Lift your hands. I see a key hanging in the realm of the spirit. This is access. There are men right now. You are entering into dimensions of possibilities. your hands at the count of three I want you to shout Jesus this is a baptism keys that's what I'm seeing I'm seeing a bunch of keys Lord Jesus for your glory let the closed door open at the count of three one two three the name that is above all names access in the realm of the spirit 
I command access right now by the power of the Holy Ghost access to dimensions access to levels access to possibilities close doors opening the Lord showed me gates and I decree those gates are opening 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 in the name of Jesus those gates are opening no power stands against you tonight where the Spirit of the Lord is there is liberty I decree and declare the opening of strange gates the opening of strange gates hallelujah hallelujah we're going to do a quick walk please clear this way for me there are two angels that stand before me now my left and my right and the Lord is asking me to pass round and come I will do that very quickly as I do that the Lord is going to be breaking chains and taking away limitations in the name of Jesus in the name of the Lord Jesus miracles 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 by the power of the Holy Ghost supernatural miracles take them out in the name of Jesus miracles in the name of Jesus miracles 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 by the anointing of the Holy Ghost miracles in the name of Jesus supernatural miracles I release you now I release you now I release you now I release you now. Step into anointings. Step into graces. In the name of Jesus Christ. By the spirit of the living God. There are chains I'm seeing on people's hands. Chains, 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 chains. Chains breaking now. Chains breaking now. Chains breaking now. Get ready this road. I see chains, 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 chains. Let it break now. Let it break now in the name of Jesus. Let it break now, now, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let it break now in the name of Jesus. Supernatural miracles, chains breaking in the name of Jesus. Chains breaking in the name of Jesus. Chains breaking in the name of Jesus. Chains breaking. Chains breaking. Chains breaking, chains breaking, breaking, breaking. Shado sotosh kalai, rakataka. Let it break now. The Lord is asking me to stretch my hands here. I stretch my hands right now. Every chain, in the name of Jesus. This is a miracle service. I command that the chains are broken, 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 broken now, broken now. In the name of Jesus broken you can't stand it that chain breaks now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost 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 I'm seeing the hand of the Lord a wind of his spirit coming here Lord what is happening here in the name of Jesus I'm seeing someone being taken out of a pit out of a pit out of a pit in the name of Jesus the son of the living God out of a pit I proclaim it the spirit of the Lord is upon me and I decree and declare I decree and declare captivity ended in the name of Jesus I'm seeing a ring in someone's finger. That demonic ring leaves now. That demonic ring leaves now. I see it by the spirit. That demonic ring leaves now. I curse it by the God of heaven. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. I see rings. Rings. I curse it by the God of heaven. I curse it in the name of Jesus. 
Ata paratoshi Ente karato kotoba Shekretoski labaya Embreketo koshubreke Can I go out? Brata karoto shubreke deka Those outside I want you to get ready There is an anointing There is an anointing The Lord is saying I should stretch my hands here This media place in the name of Jesus Barato shesesika Ekreto sopraka Maleketo shekreskaya Embrekete ketele kata Shabrakatos kedea Those here I want you to lift your hands No matter where you are no matter where you are, I want you to believe. As soon as I pass here, no matter what the issue is, the hand of God is about to touch you. Thank you, Jesus. Right now, let there be miracles. Now, I pass this rose. Let there be miracles. Every strange spirit, now be gone, be gone, be gone now. In the name of Jesus, be gone now. Every strange spirit, the Lord Jesus is in this place. The Lord Jesus is in this place. Kapota kata. I stretch my hands now. Over, 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 over. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Over now. In the name of Jesus. Now, now, now. In the name of Jesus. I stretch my hands. I decree and declare. I decree and declare. Stand up. Stand up. In the name of Jesus. Hold the baby. Now. Out of her. Jesus Christ, I command that devil, Madam, look at me, the Lord is bringing you breakthrough now, I'm seeing you crying and the Lord is saying in your tears, I'm coming to you, I know you are far but I will come to you, I stretch my hands now, in the name of Jesus, the anointing is touching some people here, I'm seeing like chains broken, chains broken, let it break right now, in the name of Jesus, out of him, in this young man be gone now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus out now out now out now out now be gone in the name of Jesus be gone in the name of Jesus be gone in the name of Jesus look at me my dear the Lord is saying I should tell you that your sins are over over in the name of Jesus. Over now, in the name of. Say no matter where you are, no matter how far. I want you to connect by faith. Look at me. Delay over your family ends now. Ends now in the name of Jesus Christ. Clear and declare by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the Holy. Ghost, there is a spirit in this. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's someone here. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord standing. There's someone here God wants to. Now. Declare. Where is that person? I cause that spirit now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me come to this tent overflow now. Lift your hands all of you. Lift your hands all of you. Lift your hands. Now. Listen. The Lord is giving me an instruction. All of you are, I don't know what overflow is this. Four now. Three. Overflow. Eight. At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. Something is going to happen right to the back. I'm seeing fire. One, two, three. Now. Now, now, now. Cause those spirits. I release breakthroughs now. In this overflow. In the name of Jesus. To the back. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. I'm seeing several of you inside pits. Now, now, come now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who is Ezekiel? Ezekiel. I'm hearing a name, Ezekiel. Ezekiel. Hold on, be careful. Please be careful. Ezekiel. Hallelujah. Ezekiel. There is someone. God is touching you. The first four rows inside. 
inside the main building first four rows there's someone right now the power of god is taught first four rows inside lord thank you let let that person be touched now now first four rows inside god is bringing deliverance where's ezekiel who is Ibo? you are the Ibo. come where are you from huh Anambra State, I want to pray for you. You believe that the Lord is going to I see a lot of witchcraft in your family and the Lord wants to set you free. Please, those of you outside, I don't, don't think because you are outside came out to show you that God is serious about your case. Don't think because you are standing, it means you are missing. Look, wherever you are, God can locate you. Are we together now? Salome, Salome, who is Salome? Someone outside here, Salome. I'm standing close to you. Salome, come stand here. In the name of Jesus, I set you free and I set your family free right now. In the name of Jesus, hold on. It's two guys, lift your hands. Two of you. An anointing is coming on two of you now. Lift your hands. These two gentlemen pray. Father, let them take off that anointing now. Drink of that grace. Drink of that fire. Step into a new dimension now. In the Jesus. In the name of Jesus, you are Salome. In the name of Jesus, Zonkua. Who is from Zonkua here? Zonkua or something. I'm hearing the Lord is asking me. We have a lot to do. We're going to be very fast because we'll soon pray for the sick now. Zonkua. Hallelujah. Please don't, don't make this place rowdy. Where are you from? Hold on. Don't don't cry. Don't cry. Are you sisters? You are sisters. There is a spirit of death in your family. Come. What? Why are you crying? It's well. Things are not going. Everything is scattered. Okay, look at me. Look at me. Two of you. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. One to go. That's the end of it. Lord, I set them free. Help them under the anointing. Please, there is somebody. The spirit of the Lord is ministering to me. I don't know what God is people outside there is somebody around here want to prophesy to the person bring the person that's the person in the name of jesus christ i'm i'm seeing a snake my god my god i'm seeing a not not this person i'm seeing a snake and the lord is saying even the lawful captives that's what the spirit of god is ministering to me please lift your hands those of you here someone has got to be free and Lord, that person right now, I pray in the name of Jesus, let the hand of God come upon that person right now. That person has to be free, has to, has to be free in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, here it is, it's coming now. I see like light coming on someone right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I set you free now by the power of the Holy Spirit. I set you free. I'm ministering to people. Kauna. Is there a name like that? Kauna. Is it Kauna or Kauna? Please to pray fast. Kauna. Who is that? I'm going to this overflow now. Kauna. Is there someone like that? Please, I want you to open your mouth and say, Lord, I receive the breakthrough you are bringing. Lift your voice and begin to speak it. I receive it. I receive it. Oga, come. What do you do? Huh? Where? Do you do business? Why? I want to pray for you because I'm seeing God empowering you in business. Do you have an elder sister? I've seen a lady. This is a lady looking just like you. I'm going to pray for you in the name of Jesus. I took out time because of the massive deliverance that will happen here now. This very room. I'm walking here. Please hear me. There are mothers who what is going to happen to your children is going to come from your standing here now. So please release your faith. I want to pray. I want to pray for you. It ends. It's over now. 
in the name of Jesus is over by the power of the Holy Spirit. I will walk it to the front and then I will come down. Jesus. Jesus. I'm going to start from the front there. Please just allow me to do my thing. Let's just do it very fast because we are going to pray for the sick. All these people lying shortly. I'm going to ask all of you to sit down. That anybody on a wheelchair or on a your stand up right now. When I ask you to stand, you will stand up and take away whatever you came with. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Hold on. Um, my God, I'm going to pass, and there is nothing special about me. It's just a communication, a channel for the Lord to touch you. Come. Um, the man. What is you are holding? The Lord is saying, what are you looking for? You are looking for a job. Huh? And the Lord is saying, I should release a job to your life. You believe that? Receive your job now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lift your hands. Father, I pray, Spirit of the living God, that you will blow upon this place as I pass this place. Let no yoke, let no chain stand. In the name of Jesus, Shepra, Sheprosko, Prekita, Preketo Shotoprak, Let the grass tobasha. Them now. In the name of Jesus, I bring you life by the power of the Spirit. The life of the life of God by the power of the Spirit. Lives life right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every darkness, leaves. every trace of darkness leaves, 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 leaves now, leaves now, 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 leaves now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every trace of darkness must go now. In the name of Jesus Christ, it must go now by the power of the Holy Ghost. It must go now. It must go now. Someone with pile is being healed now. Somewhere here. Someone with pile is being healed now. Someone with pile, you're going to feel like fire going through your body. We'll pray for the sick shortly. Be healed now. Fire is on your head. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing a yoke of delay here. This road. Somebody, somebody has to be free now. In the name of Jesus Christ, let that delay be broken by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let that delay be broken by the power of the Holy Ghost. It's to a new level. In the name of Jesus, the Lord is renewing, renewing, renewing. I hear renewal. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm standing in this row because the angel of the Lord is standing here. And he wants to touch somebody right now. In the name of Jesus, let it be over. Let it be over by the power of the Holy Ghost. Right now, Shate Sekotas Kalapratia Embrekete Please help them, my God. Shembra Katos Koto Pradisha La Pariata Kata Ekros Ketepo Shabre Neketala Le Kreto Shekras Kada Barata Pash Embreketia. My sister, you are praying and I'm hearing your prayer. Come, you are telling the Lord to visit you. I'm hearing your prayers in my ears, and the Lord is saying I should. That he should give you a visitation. Who is this? My children. This is your husband? Yes, sir. Where is he? He's in Berlin. I want to pray for you. I don't like what I see. Right? The Lord is going to set them free because I've seen everything is tied down for this family. Nothing is working. Yes, sir. Is that true? The Lord is going to step in now. At those states. Edo State. I'm from Edo State. What the Spirit of God is showing me. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm praying for you. Please. Father, let there be a miracle right now. I end it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I end it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. My God. Now, see this thing the Lord shows me all the time. Please, everybody lift your hands inside or outside. Lift your hands now. I'm seeing a map. I don't know why God always shows me this. I'm seeing a map and the spirit of the Lord through that map is taking me to Benway State. Now everyone from Benway State, get ready. The anointing of God comes upon you now. Benway State. Benway State. 
the is setting people free. Benway State, right now. Shekatos, Kalatos, inside and outside. Benway State. Benway State. Inside, outside. Benway State. I see breakthroughs coming. Benway State. Anointings. Mata Lakota. It's a sign and a wonder that the Lord does. Where he locates people by state. Locates people by state. I'm praying now. If you're in Benway State, this unction is on you. The work is on you inside. My God, I'm seeing people inside, inside the main auditorium. Breakthroughs, breakthroughs, breakthroughs. I'm hearing or to go or to go breakthroughs, strange breakthroughs, strange breakthroughs or to go. Shakato Sekete, Ekreto Shalabariata, Embrakato Shataya Lakosata. Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus there are miracles in the name of Jesus there are breakthroughs in the name of Jesus hallelujah 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 Jacob 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 you're I'm standing close to you and your name is Jacob. Lift your hands. It's over now. Forever. Over. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the, there's somebody praying in this room. The power of God is coming on him now. Someone is praying a prayer. In the name of Jesus. You are stepping into a level. The spirit of wisdom is coming upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Is it Asabe? Asabe. I'm hearing the name Asabe. Quickly, I want to see how God will grant us grace. This evening, there are so many sick people we have to pray for. Asabe. Is it Asabe? I'm hearing Asabe. In the name of Jesus Christ. Look at me, my dear. Look at my eyes. My eyes. Look at my eyes. Break every chain. Break every chain. Visit her family, oh God, once and for all. Let this be the season. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Who is from Enugu State? Enugu State. Hold on, hold on. Please don't fight yourselves. Madam, where are you from? I'm from Eni. Enugu State. I'm going to pray for you. Choma. What? Choma. 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 I'm hearing a name Choma. We're going to pray. Choma. You are inside. The Choma I'm talking about at the main auditorium. Choma, where are you? Give Jesus praise. I'm going to pray for you. Your name is Choma. What's your name? Choma. Your name is Choma. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord is set family free right now because this is one of your prayer requests. I'm looking at your prayer request in a vision. What did you say the Lord should? I'm seeing your prayer request on top of you and I'm seeing that you're writing that God should bring breakthrough for your family. He will. He will. He will. We're talking about the spirit of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, let it be over. My brother, stand up. Look at me. Your relationship with the Lord Jesus. Look at me. You love Jesus? I'm seeing your legs tied and I'm seeing snake of your legs down to your head. Your relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ is where this will start from. Be free now. Out! In the name of Jesus, help him. In the name of Jesus Christ. Where did you come from, my dear? You are from Isuka. In the name of Jesus Christ, hold my hands. Let it be over now. By the power of the Holy Spirit, let it be over now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing that map again. The Lord shows me Southern Kaduna. Southern Kaduna now. The power of God is looking Southern Kaduna. Southern Kaduna inside and outside. You're from Southern Kaduna. I'm seeing the map of Kaduna State. And the Lord is touching people from that state right now. There are several people inside, ushers, different people. The Lord is touching people, Southern Kaduna, miracles, miracles. I'm seeing like a, a, the cover, 
the cover of a well be opened in the name of Jesus let it be by the spirit of the living God by the spirit of the living God by the spirit of the living God let it end now I stretch my hands to you let it end captivity must end in the name of Jesus Christ captivity must end now captivity must end captivity must end Shada sete karotash Embre kete shala pradosa stupriada Shala prinde keto prasada balanaba Hallelujah Hallelujah I'm hearing Italy Italy, a country, Italy Who has a relative in Italy? You come There is power Please quickly Who do you have in Italy? sister where is she she's in Italy have you heard from her no it has been long there's a, there's a problem I'm seeing that lady is in a serious problem she needs a miracle did we discuss this with you yeah she discussed it with my mom I'm saying did I discuss it with you no sir she's in Italy there is a serious problem huh I'm seeing deportation we have to pray for her there is a serious issue not only deportation but she's about to get into trouble the Lord brings this thing so that He will set you free. Huh? In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. That's what I was waiting for. In Jesus' name. There's somebody in front among the people lying down there. Um, I'm seeing the Lord touching their family. Lord, in the name of Jesus, let there be a miracle. Those of you coming for the first time, this is what happens in the miracle service. Is, is these are not just miracles they are called signs and wonders they are operations of the spirit you can see me call a state and everybody on that, that state is under the influence of the spirit it's not so magic these are operations these are superior dimensions of the operation of the spirit of the living God I want to pray for the lady in Italy in the name of Jesus Christ let there be a miracle right now a miracle right now something is leaving you even you who is standing this has caused delay in your life the lord is about to give you speed in the name of jesus christ supernatural speed the lord ends captivity in your life let it end now captivity is ending by the spirit and the power of god captivity is ending hallelujah there is somebody inside here i'm seeing a vision you are, a, you are a professional footballer. Come out. Something has tied you down. It's time for you to move up. Who is that? You are a footballer. That's why you came here. Who is that? Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Lord Jesus, we honor you. Her. I want to pray for her. Something is happening. That's why I'm standing. Look at me. Lord Jesus, let this oppression over her family end. In the name of Jesus Christ. The same thing happening to her is happening to someone right at the back. In the name of Jesus. You play football? Oh, this is your brother. From where? Somebody cheated you. We have to pray for you. Huh? Where do you want to travel to? I want to go to Europe. Huh? Europe. But you know that God has to take you to a clean way. Huh? If you want to smuggle your way and go to Europe. The devil would go and hijack your life and destroy you and they will throw you back. You understand? Because I see God lifting you in this career. The Lord is taking you very, very far. You believe that? Hold my hands. Lord Jesus, I bring him into this place. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it be for you. You see, prophecy does not just reveal. Prophecy creates. We make things that have no business happening to happen. Are we together now? 
in the name of Jesus Christ I declare that the road is clear for you now by the power of the Holy Spirit by the power of the Holy Spirit by the power of the Holy Spirit seven months pregnant there's a woman I need to pray for seven months pregnant seven months pregnant come you're pregnant how many months the Lord is telling me to take away CS. Hold my hands. Jesus. When are you due? Next month. September. You are due September. When? Do you know? You don't know. Anything from September 19th. Get ready. Huh? In the name of Jesus. I hold you and I declare. I stop CS now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. There is a problem with this baby, as I'm seeing. Is that true? Yes. I told you. Yes. This baby is not lying correctly and it's affecting you. If we don't pray, something will happen and you give birth to a dead baby. We correct it now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I lay my hands upon you. I bring the life of Christ to you. In the name of Jesus, you will give birth normally by the Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. We are going to pray for the sick now. But uh, who is this? You are pregnant. How many months? Seven months. Yes, sir. Have you gone to the hospital? Where is your husband? He's at home, sir. Husbands, husbands. They send their wives and stay back at home. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Put your hand on your stomach. God is going to give you a dream about the name of this child. Receive grace to name the child exactly what you see. Huh? Father, in the name of Jesus, let it be. In the name of Jesus, let it be by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Let it be by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Let it be by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. We'll soon pray for the sick, but I want to do something. Look at me. This lady. Out of her now. I release the life of Jesus Christ and I curse the works of darkness in the name of Jesus Christ 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 in the name of Jesus Christ, name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing fire it's like it's looking for someone in this room this is something that has to do with someone's family in the name of Jesus Christ just this role because I'm seeing the Lord is revealing to me in the name of Jesus thank you father the power of God will come upon whoever that person is and that will end it right now end it right now family God is touching the families in the name of Jesus it is not by power it's not by might it's by the Spirit of God it's not by power in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord is showing me someone's prayer request. Prayer point number one. Let my sister have a child. Who is that? Prayer point number one. You are wearing red. Break every chain. Break every chain. I hope you are not telling lies. What was your first prayer request? Let my sister and my brother have a baby. Where are they? They are in their various places. Your sister, how long has she been married? Going to three. Did she have a child before? No, but my brother has. Did she take in before? No. This person is wearing red. I will pray for you, but I'm seeing somebody wearing red. This is the person in the vision the Lord is showing me. Who is that? This is the person I saw, but I will pray with you. Listen, I want you to believe that no barren person, there is no need to go back without a child. It's, it's, there is not necessary. Hold on, I'm not just praying for barren people at random, but just let them come since they're here. We'll pray for people. We're about to pray for people now. We'll take our time to minister. The anointing is there. You see that even the vigils, sometimes you close your eyes and it's already morning. Praise the Lord. My friend, you love Jesus? Kai. 
please don't be embarrassed i want to pray for somebody now i'm seeing you standing and i want to pray i know i always pray but this guy smokes uh um what they call that thing but i know people smoke all kinds of things but this guy your own is acute you are here but truthfully speaking you cannot help you can take as much of that thing till it destroys you i'm even seeing that you have some i don't know whether it's at home please who is that don't be embarrassed the lord wants to set you free if you sit down that's your that's that's for you. whether you are inside outside make your way don't be ashamed just come out here i want to pray for you now my dear i want you to call where are they who, who are you standing in for Ladi Abuti. Huh? Ladi Abuti. you no, you're the my sister. your sister okay i want to pray the person i'm talking about please summon the courage to stand here i want to pray for you I want you to call her after this meeting and tell her to get ready. God is going to give her a baby boy. Huh? In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you because your power is available to set the captives free. I decree and declare. Let it be right now. Establish it in Jesus' name. It's over now. You are the one who came. Come. We have to pray. Your brother, you said they are barren. I'm not seeing your brother barren. Yeah, he, ha he has two children. How, how many two children? Hold one. on, let me talk to you. How many children? The first one was a miscarriage. Miscarriage? How many children are there now? The second one died like two weeks after. I'm seeing two children that is not a miscarriage. They were born, but they died. Two, two children. Now it's, there's no child at all. The one they had died like weeks or so. How many weeks? Two weeks, Two weeks after birth. One and one day. And he just died. We have to pray. You understand? You, you're standing in for them and you believe God will help them. We have to pray. As you're praying for them, it will never be part of your life. You have no business with that thing. Somebody needs to come out. This wee wee thing. Who is the person? Let's celebrate him. Don't, don't feel bad. Hallelujah. He's your friend. He's your brother. He smokes this thing. He smokes a... Uh, huh? Do you love Jesus? You love Jesus? Yes, sir. I have to pray for him. My friend, how are you? Can you hear me? I can hear you. I have to pray for him. You see, the same thing the anointing, when you smoke this thing and when you are under the influence of the anointing, it's exactly what happens when you smoke these leaves, you see. Those leaves. There is a lady. Come and join him. I'm seeing a lady. Don't be embarrassed. Please, Jesus is setting you free. There is a lady. You can't help yourself. This is not the issue of being good or bad. Please run boldly and come. If you waste our time, you just sit where you are. One lady, there is a lady. This thing has destroyed. It's not like you like it, but you can't help it. It comes upon you like an anointing, and you have to come. My dear, let's pray. We have to pray for the sick now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I agree with you. I terminate the yoke of barrenness right now. Sister and brother, in the name of Jesus, they take in now. You're here for the same reason. You're here for the same reason. In the name of Jesus, you're standing for yourself your sister if i ask for people who have who want children except you are standing for somebody if you are standing for yourself make sure you are you have a husband or a wife praise god we, we are bible believers but we are not stupid people make sure you are married officially because i know that there are people who just live together um you don't you don't love god and then we have to stay of course god is merciful the spirit of god is not letting me rest over the lady that we are going to pray for in the name of jesus let there be miracles we're a family nobody looks down and embarrasses there's no condemnation here whatsoever we're here to help we're here to show you the mercies of god hold my hands my dear this is a lady ah no this is not how the person I'm talking about is here in this venue. You are here. You are not asleep. You are awake. You are hearing what I'm saying. This lady is... You understand? Barrenness. Okay. Father, in the name of Jesus, touch them. 
the name of Jesus, touch them. Hold on, don't worry. We are going to pray for the sick. Who is this? Why are you here, madam? Please just be patient. Why is she here? If it's not the case I mentioned, um, can I pray for you, my friend? You are the one who brought him. Where is he from? He's, he's from, he's from, from Benway State, sir. Eh? He's from Benway State. He's from Benway State. See how the guy yes, is staring sir. at me? If he has his way, he can eat and swallow me as if it's easy. Between you and me, it's a long distance. It's not what we are seeing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very long distance stretch your hands and let's pray for this guy he's a nice person this this is what we we and co can do let's pray let's pray my friend don't worry we are praying for you eh? it's not just you stretch your hands saints of god you are anointed let's pray for him lord help this gentleman please i still insist this lady if god grants you grace in the name of jesus christ i pray for you we love you and in the name of jesus we pray for you sincerely by the compassion of the Christ, we pray for you that the power of this, this substance abuse is broken in your life. In the name of Jesus. Who is Rebecca? Rebecca. 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 I have to talk to that person quickly and then we will pray for the sick. You can't imagine how the time is gone. We are still going to anoint. It's already morning. Rebecca. Is there anyone? Huh? Sister. Your sister. I'll pray for you, but what's your name? What's your name? Rebecca. My dear. Come. Who is this? Rebecca. The lady that smokes this thing. This thing has depressed this lady and changed her. That's why I want to pray for you. What's your name? Rukaya. 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 Come. I love you. Eh? Come. You're a darling. We're not, we're not here to make you feel bad at all. Listen, let me tell you something. Huh? One of the keys to walking in the anointing is love. You don't love people, you will never walk in authentic power. When God reveals to you things about people's lives, it's not because you are better than them. Are we together now? The goal of this revelation is to extend the hand of God's love. This is a wonderful lady you can see, very lovely, beautiful lady that the devil wants to destroy. So every time words come like this or when we pray for people, this is a family of faith where everybody is a product of God's mercy and grace. Are we together, darling? I, I know that you may not like. Some of them, it may not even be bad friends. They just got into all of these things. And let me tell you, maturity does not deliver people from spirits. You can be growing older and still remain. You believe the Lord Jesus will help you? Hmm? Thank you. You've tried to stop this thing, Abby? Yes. And you will try and it won't work? Yes. Problems keep coming up that I just can't stop. What do you take? I smoke, I take drugs, I drink. You drink? Yes. Please stretch your hands over this lady. Pray as if you are praying for your own daughter. Pray as if you are praying for your own child. Lord, have mercy on this dear lady. We refuse to leave her to the devil. We love her. Pray, some of you are looking at me. Pray with all your heart. Lord, help this lady. Usually people take these things as a result of depression, all kinds of challenges, their lack of understanding the word of God, their lack of encounter with the word of God is what produces this kind of devilish effect. Hallelujah. Look at me, my dear. You are my friend, eh? Don't cry. You are my friend from today. God will help you, eh? Say amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, eh? Pastor Alpha, please, eh? You will follow up this lady. Just help her to stand strong. Some of these ladies, it's just a combination of loneliness and then they meet all kinds of bad people. By the way, when, when it's time to do the final prayer, we're going to pray against these bad people. 
people around our community whose lives is to frustrate and destroy people. There are many ladies here you want to love God and, and live for Him. But there are all these boys around that make it look like serving God is a waste of time. And they keep distracting you and before you know it, in the name of love, in the name of relationship, and, and in the name of wanting to marry you, they derail you from the path of God. Anybody who must make you leave God to marry you is not an irresponsible person. That prayer has already been answered. The answer is no. Leave the person quickly. Don't say I'm waiting on God. God is not a fool. Are we together? So go and meet Pastor Alpha. He will help you. Eh? He will collect your details. And your Rebecca, all of you, three of you, I cannot even remember why I asked you to come out, but let me pray for you. You are standing in for your sister. You love Jesus. Friends, eh? You love Jesus, but be careful so that, um, you know, your company matters as much as your work with God. The Lord will help you. Huh? In Jesus' name. Over now in your life. Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord is setting her free. I'm seeing something leaving her. In the name of Jesus Lord, let her be free from it. That devil of darkness lets you go. Rebecca, the Lord is bringing you liberty in the name of Jesus. It's over now by the power of the Holy Spirit. I have to pray for you. In the name of Jesus, this favor is lifted from your life forever. In Jesus' name. Two of you are Rebecca. Your name. In the name of Jesus Christ, I agree with you. In the name of Jesus, I agree with you. Now, what's that your song? Gashina, Gamuna, Sir King Aljana, Yana. Gamuna, Gashina, Gashina. Circuit out to Nayana, Gashina, Gamuna, Yanana. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want to pray on this now. You can imagine it's to five. Stretch your hands here. Let's pray. God is a miracle worker. The testimonies here is a revelation that God gave us and an instruction and my God what a joy to life stretch your hands in the name of Jesus Christ Jabratos stretch your hands in the name of Jesus Mandala Kapratos Katavridish Kalabraniakata Unto you that answers prayers shall all flesh come are you praying? Father, we agree. We agree for miracles. We agree for sins. We agree for wonders. Man te kalas kotambria tato siziata katalo karusia. Bredo go shobradis kalabrata kataparadash. Le kataprando susibriata. E kata. Jabrata shebrega de bosh. Pray. We receive miracles, we receive signs, we receive wonders. In the name of Jesus, Lord, release miracles to families, release signs, wonders. In the name of Jesus Christ, let impossible situations come under the influence of your spirit. Shapra kapara koto sobri gedia, raba daga da balada koso sobri ada balada bosh. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Father, we decree and declare. Agree with me, right now. Let every impossible situation turn into a miracle right now. Shekoto so pakuta priyakata kaso de gedia, Lord. This is a representation of the cries and the desires of your people scattered around this place and many across the nations of the world. Lord, we agree that you are a miracle worker and we decree and declare that these requests are turned into testimonies in the name of Jesus. 
we decree that these requests are turned into testimonies in the name of Jesus we decree that these requests are turned into testimonies in the name of Jesus we decree that these requests are turned into testimonies in the name of Jesus we decree that these requests are turned into testimonies in the name of Jesus visit the barren heal the sick deliver the oppressed wipe the tears of your people by the power of your word let there be miracles we release miracles 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 in the name of Jesus Christ we thank you we thank you we call it done in the name of Jesus Christ we call it done in the name of Jesus Christ we call it done in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah now we're getting to the last phase we're going to pray on this hallelujah let me tell you something about this oil you are seeing is is truly an oil of wonder I spent uh, the night praying no oil in itself is anointed please be careful don't hurt her don't ah uh, hold on <laughs> they are wondering what to do with her my dear be comfortable okay this your case is a very straightforward demonic case your bones are fine everything is fine you've taken this just relax um, if she doesn't feel the strength to stand don't force her but you can just guide her who brought her how did she come you carried her can you carry her are you that strong this is night vigil okay take her gradually you try to walk to where well, while they are carrying you please when you keep her exercise there's no reason out there there's no reason why this lady should go back crippled honestly speaking it's not that her bones are broken just all these demonic things so i was talking about this oil um there is a ritual when people begin to idolize things oil water handkerchiefs aprons um, um, stickers banners they lose the life in it religion is a very terrible thing it's important you do things according to the word of god and as directed by the holy spirit last week was an anointing service for favor and um, we're going to name this one now and then we'll pour it and then we'll have um, our anoint these guys and then we'll do it very quickly whilst we're doing that please the moment you come touch the anointing oil on your head please and please we'll make it very fast you can see that it's already five o'clock it's almost as if um, it was not a vigil <laughs> praise god father we give you all the praise i lift up this jar of oil and in the name of jesus christ we call it an oil of breakthrough say amen we decree and declare let this oil be a symbol of supernatural breakthrough the supernatural oil that came from my hands that was added to this i pray that the mystery of breakthrough that this represents as it comes upon you let there be strange signs and wonders in the name of jesus let this provoke angelic visitations in the name of jesus christ and let this cause the holy spirit to move in your life in a mighty way the bible says the spirit of the lord is upon me and the reason why he's upon me is because i was anointed in the name of jesus may the anointing attract dimensions of the operations of the spirit in the name of jesus we dedicate this i command this oil to lose its earthly significance and to take on the significance of a mystery in the realm of the spirit representing breakthrough at the same time let this be an oil of judgment in the name of jesus christ let this be an oil of judgment by the power of the holy spirit god's ability god's ability is working in me hallelujah we have to say it. father in the name of jesus i thank you i'm anointing you so that you will stand and as i lay my hands i pray that this grace of breakthrough and favor will start from you first i want you to believe it this is an oil that will bring supernatural breakthrough in your own life supernatural grace 
supernatural grace, supernatural grace, anointing of the Holy Ghost in fresh dimensions. In the name of Jesus, that grace, that anointing, that grace, that anointing, that grace, that anointing, in the name of Jesus Christ. Okay, so you can give it to them. Father, we decree and declare. This is an oil of supernatural breakthrough. I can always add, please quickly station yourselves. We are going to be praying all through. As soon as, as soon as the oil touches you, please, I want you to begin to pray. Worship team, you give us. Uh, okay, just play the instruments. We'll just begin to pray in the spirit. Everyone praying in the spirit. As the oil comes upon you, begin to declare, speak forth release your faith lord we decree and declare right now let miracles begin let signs and wonders and breakthroughs begin in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus you can stand here okay thank you jesus go ahead as soon as you touch the oil begin to prophesy in the name of jesus christ I decree and declare the word of the Lord becomes my testimony. The oil is anointed. Mande brada scala brede shefrete seka toprata kata baladaba. Please quickly, quickly, quickly. Make sure everyone is anointed. Make sure everyone is anointed. Young, old. Zambra di kaso di briada baladabos. Madi brasa zize anakushada cross kalabani. Please keep standing everybody, it's morning already. I want to make an altar call quickly, our time is up. It's just two minutes to six. Please keep standing, no moving around, inside, outside. There are people here, you have seen the power of God, you have seen the grace of God, and you're saying, Apostle, if you will pray for me, I'm ready to hand my life over to God, like the dear lady who came out, um, and many other people. I know that it is morning, but it should not rob you. The greatest miracle, literally and truthfully, is an encounter with the Lord Jesus Christ. Wherever you are, you are inside, you are outside, any of the overflows online, you are following, and you are saying, man of God, I want you to pray with me. And at the same time, there are people, you have given your heart to the Lord, but things happen around your life, your life went haywire, and you need, you are saying, I, I cannot go back the way I came. I want to have this restoration, this encounter. I'm rededicating my life to Jesus. Wherever you are, please, we have just two minutes for you. Inside, outside, please clear the way for them. Make sure you don't discourage them. Let's appreciate them as they come. Wherever you are, God bless you. Make your way to the front. Are you appreciating them? They are coming. Please run, run quickly. Inside, outside. If you're coming, I want you to run. God bless you. God bless you. Clap hands for them. They are coming. God bless you. Koinonia, is this the best you can do? Keep coming. Don't let anyone stop you. If you are joining them, please come quickly. Clear the way for them. Overflow one, two, three, and then the fourth one. Those online connect with us. I'm about to lead them with a very special prayer. Very special prayer. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. I want you to lift your right hand and pray this after me sincerely from your heart. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I believe in you that you are the son of God tonight come join them quickly tonight you're coming from outside quickly 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 join them join them let's be very fast let's be very fast quickly say after me all of you standing here say Lord Jesus I believe in you that you are the son of God I ask you to cleanse me forgive my sins I believe you, you were raised from the dead and now you are alive I receive eternal life into my spirit and I declare by the authority of scripture that I'm a child of God I decree and declare that the grace to live a victorious life is given to me right now I go forward ever and backward never in the name of Jesus keep your hands lifted Jesus we present to you the ones you died for and we decree and declare that this will begin the beginning of a great journey in their lives I, I declare that your sins are forgiven i command that the power of sin the power of flesh the power of satan is broken over your life in the name of jesus you go from glory to glory 
in Jesus name I pray amen and amen now very quickly I want you there's a gentleman waving his hands I want you to follow him quickly they welcome you more warmly on our behalf and communicate a few details to you God bless you hello beloved in Christ we hope this message was a blessing to you I would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us to tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from and if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us thank you for watching in the name of jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise i decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin